Hello. Hello, stream. I'm kind of loud. See if I turn it down to 80. About 69. Is that a good number? There we go. Felt semi loud. Hello. Not right now? Okay. Good. I just want to make sure. I turned my volume down to 70% because I was like, I'm kind of loud, jeez. Do I have you, your mic running hot? Uh, they can hear me on stream, I just didn't know if I was too loud or not. Oh, uh, let me see what I can do. Because like, the music's going to be quiet here until we actually get into game. Uh, the game is this loud. So if you want to try talking over this real quick, we'll see what the audience says. Oh yeah, no, that's good. It should be good. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back, getting a couple of things taken care of before we get started here. Okay. Seeing some new pop-ups here for the Baldur's Gate Twitch integration. Let's see. Drops are now awarded again in-game once you've claimed your reward on Twitch. Okay. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 Twitch integration. Using this extension, you'll be able to inspect the streamer's party members, quest progress, and even vote on dialogue options. See how it works. 
I'm curious. I haven't seen anybody else using this just yet, so like this is my first time seeing any of it. These buttons will appear when you hover over the stream. By clicking them, you'll be able to inspect the party or open the journal. Cool. While inspecting the party, you'll be able to look at party member stats, equipment, inventory, spellbook, and skills. Thanks to the journal, you'll be able to keep up with the playthrough without having to ask what's going on. Just browse through the journal instead. Throughout the playthrough, Twitch viewers will be able to vote on dialogue options to influence the story. Either help the streamer make the right choice or get them into trouble. It's all up to you and the other viewers. You've seen it in PokeLol's stream. Alright. Also, hi, Filson. Hello, everyone. Uh, we are trying something a little bit different and a little bit new. <laughs> Hi, cuties. Wow, that, that displays very strangely on my screen. That's funny. Okay, so I think that's everything I need to click on on this end for the integration. Oh, it just pops up on the left side when you, like, highlight over it. The extension has not received any game data yet. Okay. And that makes sense, because we haven't actually, like, gotten into a game. <sighs> Alright, so I'm sitting here at the title screen. Um, not sure how to... Let's see here. Oh god, loud. Okay. We'll figure out the multiplayer stuff in a sec, I suppose. It's going to be so cold here today, and I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. We hit the blep button. It's it's real blep in hours. Oh, I completely like forgot to even start my intro reel. I'm I'm having a time of it here. Also, I'm seeing some major stutter. What is Hey, uh computer? C computer? We 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 good? Eh, we are not good. All right, let's try disabling VC face and see if we can fix this. It might even be a Discord thing. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Something broke. Like, extra broke. I'm having problems with VC face and OBS. I'm trying to see if this is... Yeah, this is like stuttering even on OBS's side. That's not a good sign. I might need to turn down the settings on Baldur's Gate, actually. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, that, that one's unexpected. Um... Okay, OBS is now at least detecting Discord. Go back over here. Bloody hell. All right, I, I gotta 
turn off audio on this for a sec. Uh, video. Uh, modern refresh rate to reduce screen tearing. Triple buffering is more stable but requires more dedicated memory. Let's drop that down to double. Frame rate cap, maximum frame rate, 60 FPS, gamma correction, sure. Overall preset. Let's drop that down from ultra. Just just a bit. Maybe? No? No, no difference. It is still crunching like a mofo. Hmm. Let me try something else here. Am I still... Oh, hey. We're still seeing that same thing happening. You know what? I think I may have figured it out. <laughs> yep, I figured it out. I needed to turn on graphics acceleration. It's overheating again. Yay! <sighs> Diagnostics. My apologies, everyone. I'll stick this back over into a normal place, not taking up the entire screen, please. Baldur's Gate, please launch. Please launch and don't murder me. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh. Oh no. Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with my VTuber being crunchy. I, there's no way around that. Also, game is good. Was playing it until now. That makes sense. I'm I'm not surprised you've been playing it. Uh, pretty much like most of the folks I know have been playing it. So yeah. You know that may have actually fixed it. Restarting it with the uh, lower graphics intensity. Well, there we go. need to turn the music back on, but it is definitely running a lot smoother. Okay, so we'll go over here and turn off No Thoughts Head Empty because this is very not head empty. Drop that just a bit. Dropped it a lot more than just a bit. Wow. Talk about scalar volume. Okay, that'll be good there. And multiplayer. Rens. Right. Create is down at the bottom. Oh. Party. Thank you for knowing in advance where some of that stuff is. Invite. Stoned Agar. <laughs> Do a little load. Yay. Not ready. That's cute. I like the let's see, gameplay mode balance, number slot, sure, whatever, launch. Yeah, okay, cool. Launch. <laughs> <laughs> let's check this out. Ah, the Eldrazi. The Illithid. The children of Cthulhu. The Mind Flayers. Lodi Boss. Stone, have you played, like, modern D&D? &D? Yeah. I haven't. Like, really much at all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what a Githyanki looked like until this. I thought that they had been, like, weird about taking artistic liberties with uh, orcs or half-orcs or something. But no, that that's a Githyanki. Hmm.
Ew. Blorp. That's yucky. Now it's your turn. Come here. Nope, look over here. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> it went to it went to the advertisement as it ate people's eyes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so. Are you doing the, the tiefling? Yes. Okay. I will also do tiefling because I had plans and ideas. And we're going to be Mephistopheles with the wrong colors. I think. So my question is, is does it have subclasses? Like there's rogue, yes. but is there soul knife rogue? Uh, if you click on rogue, it doesn't show one there, but if you click on, like, sorcerer, there's subclasses of which type of magic you can use. Okay. So, um, I'm assuming that a lot of this is going to be dependent upon the loot that you find, the role playing that you're willing to undergo on your own, and the limitations of this being, unfortunately, a scripted game. Uh, it, we're, we're working on somebody else's pre-written stuff versus somebody being able to adapt on the fly, and that's one of the the things that always has like been a strict limitation in any given D D game and i've always found a little frustrating but good writing can easily surpass that hmm. okay so i'm gonna be doing yeah do you know what class you're to play yeah, yeah, yeah i'm doing rogue doing a rogue okay rogue and a ranger that's gonna be fun Keeper of the Veil. Very strategic is what we're going to have to play. <laughs> Guild Artisan. We're going to be sneaky and stealthy. This will be interesting because it means uh, we're going to be able to like take advantage of setting traps and using ambush tactics and hit and run. This is... Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to actually getting to utilize... I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea how this game plays. For all I know, it might be Diablo 4 and I'm just hitting Q and W. Like, I, I don't know, but... It could be, if it's anything like Baldur's Gate 1, which I did play, uh, tactics really, really did matter. So I'm going to be going with a guild artisan because mercantilism and the uh, the character Saris... Oh no, Saris would actually be a soldier. If I'm playing my old roleplay character here, my ranger... Okay, we're going to run with the default abilities because I... Do not know them well enough on my own. We're going to go Big Woman. The appearance. Let's hope. Health. Something just woke up. By the way, the um, nudity in this game is mm -hmm. allowed on Twitch. Um, Good. Artistic because um, it's not the main focus of the game, and that's the main reason why. Good. I like the way the uh, the horns more closely resemble the ones that I already have by doing the Mephisto um, tiefling. Last time I did this, it took about 20 minutes to get all the, the deco done for the character, but I'm, like, still not entirely sure how I want to decorate this one, because this isn't the librarian. The librarian's a separate character for when I really want to go down into a hole talking about mechanics and don't want to drive another player insane who's trapped in the stream. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> like I said before, don't worry about it. I, I want to I wanna have the experience of actually going in-depth Okay. We'll have some fun with this. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Hmm. 
You made a female tiefling sorcerer with a... What is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. I see what you made. Mm. Oh, there's a Clemson Hill Dirts for this one. I right, this one cell. Other cell. Makeup. Yeah, there is a lot of options for hmm. the genitalia of your character. There were three options that I saw. <laughs> I wouldn't... wouldn't yeah, I... There, there's options, and... They're there. You know it's keepy, keepy hair. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't intend on focusing on on this character, but I do want to make certain that I get like freckles and all that put in place. Right, so it was Orchid that I used last time to make the makeup pop. Confirm. That's eye makeup. Was it body art? It was body art. There we go. Either set hair. Oh, this is the one that I did not like take enough time to look at. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh. This, there's a lot here. Oh, we could do we could do the multi braid side lock, which is an actual sandwife style. That's that's physical layer style. Holy, there's a lot here. Wow. High braid, that's cute. Ah, uh, what if you wanted to play WoW? What if you just played WoW instead? That's that's what that <laughs> one is. <laughs> Make yourself a night elf. Yeah, just make a drow. Sorry, uh, Kaldore. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the wrong hair color. Actually, we did... Is it Ruby? Base color, aqua, grain as green, high intensity. That's how I got that RGB effect. Facial hair is fine. Oh, there's horn options. Hold up. Cute. Yeah, and you can color the horns too. It can be mossy. Horn tip color. Mossy and bloody. This is accurate for a ranger. It could be bright and whimsical. It could be fiery. Or wooden. I like I like the bloody. I had no idea there was horn options like that. That's so cool. Okay, I think go back to edit character, make certain I'm not missing something else here that I needed to do. Favorite enemy, the unnatural. Okay. This is not the hairstyle I want as I look at it. Too many hair. So many I personally uh -oh. like the one with the side braids. Yeah. I guess. 
Hmm. Whoa. Whoa! That's a neat side braid. Not the way that I like the front, though. Yeah, we'll do half side. Where you get, where it go? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good highlight. Okay. Cool. Uh. Oh, yes. Right. You. Uh, big. Uh. So dying? No. Oh, fuck. Also. We both have guardians, I think, maybe. That would be interesting. Uh, I did miss stuff on my own character. Yeah, sure. Default. We know that. We we already know. Cool. Very armored. <laughs> okay. I did not mean to do that to their skin. Huh. Space Elf. Her name shall be Spell. Wait. Their name shall be Spell. <laughs> Whoa. Where's the one that's like vines crawling up the neck? There's a rose on one side, although that is really cute. I can't find it. Oh, but I like that. That's what it shall be. I... yeah. Makeup. That's some nice lipstick. I wish that I had metallic lipstick that I could just put on like that. Just activate <laughs> a slider on my face. Do you have any idea how awesome it would be if I could just go full character creator on my physical layer face? Like, ah, I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> Spell, Spell, you look awesome. I don't even need to like, well, wait, uh, this one. Spelf gets space buns. Yeah. Also, bloody hair. Because we're going to be squishing so many things. People, bugs, faces. No Squish them allowed. with your thighs. <clears throat> Why is no facial hair allowed for the, the NB character? What is, what's up with this? What the hell? Yeah! What? Out of all the things... So far, they're like, yeah, do whatever you want. No facial hair? <laughs> hmm. That's weird, because, like, the femme character, it offered, it might just be that it won't let you do to the Guardian. Yeah. That's interesting. All right, let me know when you are ready to hit the Venture Force button. I am ready. Okay. Wow. 
You must gather your party before venturing forth. So there's others dead here. Other illithid. Also, that control panel is so cool. Mm-hmm. So this is a type of ship known as a star jammer or spell jammer, depending on uh, whether it's astral or uh, spatial. And there's there's like an entire chunk of D and D that was dedicated to nothing but spell jammer style uh, campaigns, where like you would basically have instead of a town, you had your ship, and you had to keep it functional. Uh, while also going out and solving problems in, in your campaign. And it was the first foray into a sci-fi realm while still keeping the mechanics of D&D. Also, Wilhelm's Scream. Shout out to Wilhelm, wherever you are. Don't get shot in the leg, Wilhelm. More dead illithid. Okay. What? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> the guardians Not of the galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Marvel films affecting D and D. It's cool, <laughs> but like, this is so outside the scale of where your character is ever gonna be or start. What the heck is going on here? No. It's a purely organic ship. All goopy on the inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not done with you. <laughs> I forgot there's people on this ship. <laughs> I keep thinking he's just the captain. Uh oh. Is the third one okay? Githyanki are known to hunt mind flares. Huh. Also, hi, Josh. Oh, that armor is messed up after all this. All right. Welcome to Pandemonium. I think. So. Welcome to hell. Well, hell, hell has so many layers in D and D, and for every plane of existence separated from the prime material or from the source plane of an enchanted artifact, it loses one plus. So a plus one sword, when you take it to any part of hell, becomes an ordinary iron sword. Uh, like, only really high-level plus things get to remain magical elsewhere. But there are some things you'll find that are more magical elsewhere than they are on the Prime Material. So, like, mm -hmm. a, a Demon Forged Blade found in Hell is very powerful in Hell, but it might not be in the Prime Material. I'm so fruit roll up color. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Auto save successful. How do we. 
Silved. That's me. Okay. Backwards, it's Devilus. Oh. Yeah. There's a mine flare. Wow, there is stuff everywhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to where you are. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm robbing this mind flayer of their Dead. jade. Good. Dead. Hmm? I'm doing a scope check. What is this? Use, attack, examine, nursery, piercing resistance, necrotic resistance. Wow, there is a lot of info. It has 10 health. Oh! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Righto. It said reach towards the pool, so I did, and then it exploded. <laughs> Uh, Restoration. Use. Better. Lucky I made it out. Wonder who was inside. Okay. Is there another one over here? Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. There's an upstairs. Not getting back in that thing. Whoa, I can't tell what's a... Oh, jeez. Okay. Visions oh. project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling oh, through the planes, resplendent with psionic energy. Wow, you can get really zoomed in here. This is really cool. Rune Slate. Look, there's a chest. Into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the planes, resplendent with psionic energy. Examine. Holding this tablet causes a flash of inscrutable images to appear before the eyes before vanishing, leaving a mild headache in their place. I found a plate of headaches. I'm taking it. <laughs> uh, right. I'm, I have to remember to, like, also do all this in character, because, like, she wouldn't be trying to investigate everything. She'd be more interested in getting... Oh, there's a chest here. It has nothing available inside. Oh, I, I, I grabbed it. Oh, okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Can I just My character's the... background oh. is urchin. He steals everything. He's he's a little gremlin. <laughs> okay, so you can just like click into an area and your character will pass find their way over, which is useful. Yeah. Restoration? Yeah, that's that's what healed us after we uh exploded. <laughs> okay. So we're going over here. Oh, mm -hmm. that's that's a cert certainly a name for that. Whoa. It's a, a goblin. A viscous chair. Got a single gold piece on him. Another images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. A mind flayer tablet, elegant and alien. It seems to bypass the eyes and pro project information straight into one's brain. Brain jar? The schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Oh, I found an elevator. Okay. Holding this tablet causes a flash. Okay, so the same description as before. Some of them have it. Okay, well, check it out. Wait, there's a bunch of these. Are these also all the same? Thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. So many rune slaves. 
Neural just, apparatus. Magnum all. Yeah, I'm just taking all their plates of headaches. Oh, hey! The elevator. Okay. There's a bunch of brains and jars over here. How do we help you? Let's go talk to them. Um, do, do you want to talk to him? Brain? Brain? Examine. Tentacle Aquarium. We are here. Yeah. A humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition, suspended in cerebrospinal fluid. Uh, it has one health. We are trapped. Oh, okay. Hey, Bucky, how's it going? Oh, this isn't disturbing to me specifically at all. Yes, we have come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. They return. I think you're past the point of saving. Oh, does anybody else want to throw their votes in here? We've, we've got integration where you can highlight the, the uh, left side of the screen. You'll, you'll get some options there. Where is... How do I if, find where to... Yeah, if not, I'll just run these through as roleplay in character. Give you folks a minute. Only half awake, really. Hope everyone here is okay. Yeah, you know, I'm still pretty uh, sleep-deprived from last night's party, too. I don't have a whole lot of recollection after just, like, laying in the pool and looking up at the fireworks for a few hours. Everything after that's just a blur. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think you're past the point of. Well, let's see what will it show me anything if I click here now. Okay, it does now. Cool. That's interesting. All right. Well, Tell I can see where your mouse is. Good. Oh, if you hover over um, which one you want to do, you can see. Ah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do a dex check. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character's skills add a bonus to this roll. All right, folks. Let's see. We're going to get our nat one for the first roll and trying to save this brain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now that is a difficult big class of 10. We got it. Oh, nice. I expected, you know, a situation like this kind of requiring a dexterity much higher than this. From the skull. I mean, when you rip it out that brutally, I don't think it's that. It <laughs> oh my. Nope. Oh. Would you like to go again? Do I want? Do I want to do a dex roll? I mean, what if it's not a thing that's supposed to be injured? Do I think it's evil? That's up to you. You're the one holding it. I am the one holding. She looks very confused. She's like, "What? How do I?" I'd be confused too. A brain's uh... fucking talking to me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, true, true. It is pretty unnatural. It's spite of the creature. We're a ranger. Jiggle. Oh! Our freedom is ours, friend. 
friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we all need it. Hello, friend. What should I call us. you? We are us. A plural being. Attack the brain. <laughs> Do you want me to? I'm curious now. <laughs> All right. What's at the helm? Tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Hmm. All right, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. We're going, friend. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can directly control their movement and actions. You can follow with portraits to take control of them. Uh, us. Hello, us. So on the left side, you have your characters, and you can click on the little brain to... Yeah, you got it. Double click to center the camera. Examine. Level 1 Aberration. Lost Condition Newborn. Oh. What does that mean? This has got a lot of information to it. Jump, disengage, hide, claws. Enter turn-based mode. Oh, that would be helpful for later. All right. All right. What now? All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, it just follows. Good. Good. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Gremlin, urchin, evil. Doesn't do anything. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just left us behind. Oh no! Surely he'll just jump down. Oh, it just jumped down. They? Hmm. Move your camera to get an eye. Of what they had. You made it. I have a thing named us. Uh, dragon flight. Oh, so here we see both our characters. It's not just yeah. you. That's really cool. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Hmm. Lazelle's armor looks like it's made of pewter. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Uh, huh. Isn't this your character it's showing? Yeah. No. Um, I guess I'd go with number one. All right. Whoa. Uh, what do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. Hey there, Dan. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. 
Interesting. I'm glad that I have, like, tame creature as part of my ranger skills. <laughs> So now we have to learn how to fight. Uh, combat happens in rounds. Each participant gets a turn to act. Game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Okay, during your turn you can move, take an action, take a bonus action. Show your actions, show your bonus actions. Oh, huh. 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 Okay. So I have a squiggly line. Looks like red is the max distance. Can I get backstab? Alright, you're gonna head over there. So I'll head over here. Ranged attack. This person. And Heck turn. Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, oh, I got to control the lady. Us! Shabam. Uh, dash? Not enough resource. Oh, end turn. Okay. Splat. Slap that brain. I'm a little gremlin. I like the loot. Hamstring shot. Four to nine. Disengage, improvised melee, shout, dip. Dip a weapon into a surface to alter the surface or enhance the weapon. If you're dual wielding, you dip both weapons. Mage hand, manipulate and interact with objects. I wonder if I could force choke one of the imps from over here. Okay, to the helm. What's restoration? I'll be cursed. Looking ahead. It heals everybody. Is there oh there's yeah, we can go over potion of healing off this thrall. There is loot mm -hmm. to be found. Illithid cradle. I can lay down! How cozy. Why is that an option? What's in here? Oh, Tentacle Aquarium. Food for mind flayers, I suppose. So destroying that yields nothing. Imps, nothing. What about this one? What about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Nothing. <laughs> Oh, I can just straight up give things to you. Okay. Equipment. You can equip items for inventory by double clicking them or dragging them to an equipment slot. I get that, but I'm trying to find something useful besides the bow that I don't seem to actually have. So, um, at the top left, if you click, actually, you can just press tab. Uh, it opens up the everybody's inventory. Ooh. Wow, you have a lot of random stuff. Mind if I get a I've short been, sword from you? Been gremlin looting. And, yeah, you can uh, grab anything. Oh, oh, that's grab great. anything. I can just... Okay, void bulb. Just I'm gonna have to like read your inventory later. There's so much stuff here. A robe. <laughs> okay, neat. Since I am a uh, rogue, I don't need the robe. Equip one of the swords, though. Let's see here. 4 to 9, 4 to 11. Proficiency with this weapon type unlocks. Unlock. 18 meter range, 18 meter range, two handed, two handed, 2.25, 0 0.9. Ah, I see. Short bow is actually better for the short to medium range combat. Wait, can I mm -hmm. dual wield? Uh, you can dual wield the swords. I don't know if I can actually. Oh, I can. Offhand attack. Yeah. Very handy. If I get a small shield or a buckler later, that'll be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are we? Oh, this. Whoa.
I like the map where, like, it's like a D and D map, and it reveals uh, the bit. next area. Yeah. Uh, another healing spot. Oh. Okay. Mm, I like pushing buttons. Yeah, same. Somebody just said, damn it. You got a Somebody... few buttons here to push. This person says, thunk. Oop. Oh. oh, I just killed those people. Whoops. Whoopsies. Huh. Uh... Look for a latch. There must be a way to get this thing open. The Look for a latch. Is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. Oh, she looks so confused. I'll look around. There must be some way to get this open. Yeah, I'll just wave my tentacles at it real quick. Can't reach this. Uh, the join dialogue is at the bottom, or is at the middle left. Uh, where? Toggle group? Middle left. Uh, next to my character. The little oh. ear. Okay. The yeah. Is dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Oh. Nothing. The console remains <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Ooh. Backpack. Gold and agate. Thieves tools. I hit a thing. Lockpick. Oh my. Succeed hey, in the Already dead. Escape. No, 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 don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. You got a brain in a jar. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Gith Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. Oh, I just took the entire treasure chest. <laughs> it's mine now. Okay, what do I do with the brain in a jar now? Uh, put it in the thing? I tried. Oh. Huh. Uh... See. Oh, I think it needed. Oh, never mind. Uh, look for a switch. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Guess I'm going over here then. I just saw a little brain go this way. Oh, caustic brain. Did it work? Uh, no, I just hurt both of us instead. I need a restoration thing. Feel yeah. Better. Hmm? There's, yeah. there's another one of something in this room. room. A key How and a scimitar. Hmm. Okay. Woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice. You. Ooh, going to sleep now. Have a nice sleep. Good night, Filson. Good night, Filson. Good night.
diseased woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't huh. notice you. That's all it says. Push. I push button. Started a conversation. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Huh. Nope. Oh. Well, you did something. Oopsies. Change her. Change to the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Hmm. We need to get out of here before it's our turn. It's already finished. He's weak and dazed. Why don't we kill him? Why don't we kill him while he's weak and dazed? The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. I cannot. Her. Oh yeah, her. <laughs> so maybe we can... I don't Use our new gained knowledge to help her out. Wait, is that another? I want to have a word. What? This thing's an intellect devourer. It says. Oh, the little us thing. The other one. Yeah. He says hooray when you talk to him. Oh. Ah. I can insert rune into socket now. Okay. Found some sort of key? It might free you. Option is no longer valid. Oh. Okay. I guess it's because I just placed the key in the thing? Oh. Uh. Use? Place your hand on the console or take a closer look at the powered up console. I, I feel like even if I took a closer look, I'd just be stupid. Will it free the captain? Uh, which one of us has a higher arcana? Uh, I have a plus two. I think that's you then. Okay. Oh! oh. Apparently you know a lot about this. Pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beast. Heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Surely. We touching it. You feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Huh. Interesting. Do I... Will the pod to open, or do I ignore the sensation? Uh... Bleh. Depends on what kind of a person you are. Do you feel as though you would harness the powers of the, uh the thing that they implanted in your brain to your advantage the fuck? no <laughs> cuz that's that's what it means in this case it's using illithid wisdom
Hmm. Oh, you have to will it open. Oh. Interesting. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll do it. I gotta go heal. I walked into the fucking painful ass shit again. Minus one from in my plus two from Arcana. I mean, as long as I keep attempting these rolls, it's going to eventually affect. Ooh, that's a bad one, though. Uh oh. Bad Arcana. What does it mean, though? I look at the thing and go, oh no, that's a machine? Nothing I guess. The of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. <laughs> it could do it anything. Could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Hmm. Um, Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Damn right. Give me that power. Oh, you only need a two. <laughs> you have a plus two from wisdom, so it would have just given it to you anyways. So they feel better after using any of the tools in here? I guess so. She landed in the caustic brine. Hey, lady, Oop. get out of there. I'm gonna talk to her before she burns to death. <laughs> yeah. Dangerous company. You got a problem? More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. Straight into the point. All right, then let's get going. One moment. That subtle nod. Hey, VC face, you want to calibrate and track correctly? What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. There's no time to spare. Lead the way. Hmm. Oh no. She, she's gonna she, die. She's gonna die. Yeah. Oh, good save. Heals for just in time. Holy cow. She's gotta move, though. She ain't moving. She ain't moving. Uh, where's the way out? Yeah. Wait, try to click on her and uh, move her. Oh, yeah. Move. There we go. There we go. Now, do we have to keep moving her like that, or...? No, she's following now. Okay. Just had to take command. This place looks mm. neat. Got another restoration. Mind flare horticulture. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> hmm. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Still too dumb from the pod, I relate. You know, that makes sense. Not all the posts to chat are networking. Uh-oh. Concerning. Oh, snap! Huh. That's terrifying. Is that the captain? He took a little bite out of him. Oh, that's the captain. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Let me begin. 
And turn on that. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, missed. Ready. Oh, I don't know. Uh, guiding bolt. You know, just run up and attack something, I suppose. <laughs> Is there a jump? How do you sh dip, shove, throw, hide, dash, help, disengage? If you hover your mouse over the creature, it shows you what you can do to it. Oh. Cool. Okay. And at the bottom, do you see how it says action, bonus action, cantrips, and all that? You can also see what different things you can do with those. I am going to need to uh, probably run some single player on this to be fluent enough to run this on stream. Holy cow, there is so much more granularity than I expected. Reach the transponder <laughs> before the nautiloid crashes. What if I don't want to? We have 14 turns remaining. Well, if I don't want to disengage, hide, claws, dash. We got the zooms. Stand behind you. The music in this is so good. <laughs> Mysterious liquid. Not a tank. Bonus actions for shove, jump, dip, attack, healing, scroll, protection, arrow, wait, inspect. There must be a. Yeah, it's single use. That's terrible. Okay. So brain bulbs. Oh, it is so hard to see those. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Poor us. Dash. Continue in zones. Have a good lurk. Enjoy your bath. Okay. Are we supposed to kill the mind flayer? Uh, it says he's on our side as of right now. What if I attack him anyways? Missed. Hmm. I'm ready. Got to press on. Blessing of the trickster. Grant another creature advantage. Sacred flame. <laughs> oh, you're just attacking the mind flayer. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Sandy, I don't think we should do that. They're evil. Hover over the Commander Zonk's, like, character. He has 122 health and he's level 8. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh oh. The Mind Flayer is the only thing tanking him. <laughs> well, uh -oh. hold on. What if we do kill the Mind Flayer? Will, will Zalk immediately attack us? That's my main guess, and I don't think I want to find out. But it's D&D. &D. What if, what if, like, he's like, oh, hey, you killed that guy for me. 
I mean, I already shot him with my bow. <laughs> I think he is very upset. I think so. Uh, hmm. All right. <laughs> Oops. Shield of faith. <laughs> huh. This creature can't activate the transponder. What? This creature is literally made for activating the transponder. <laughs> what the hell? What? What is this? Don't waste a step. Run, jump. Not enough for movement. Slap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're doing a lot of missing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not looking good. We're doing a lot of missing. Thaco, Thaco be doing some work. Let's go ahead and put on a shield here. I guess I could heal the mind player. Oh, can you? Yeah, uh, Shadowheart can heal. Okay. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay, Shadow Heart. Healing word on that guy. Plus four. Mm, uh -oh. Dragons. Tasty. Hurry before they strike. Hmm. What? Just saved versus necromancy. Moving. Nothing will stand in my way. Oh, you can't heal him? Uh, I healed him for four. Forward. But her healing is oh, okay. ranged anyways. Mm -hmm. I also tried to do damage, but... Your attack was resisted and the entity took half damage. Uh, interesting. Whoa! That was awesome. Yeah, it's got a rush strike. You can dash with it. This mind player is about to die. Yep, and I don't want to be there when he does. I kind of want to shoot the mind player. Oh, us is still over there. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I've just been chilling out. Uh, I think I used up all of her spells per day. Slap. 
Wait, what? Oh, uh -oh. What's this? There's two more guys coming in the room. Oh. Now the mind flare is dead. Huh. Captain down. Oh no. Wow. Us hits really hard. Come a little closer. <laughs> Wonder if the guys are watching me. Hmm. How far can I make it? Can I make it? I can. Nice. Take control of the Nautiloid and escape the Hellas. You made it in time. I also kind of want to know what happens if we don't make it in time. Like, just run around the cockpit for 14 turns, not fighting. I'm pretty sure the dragon just explodes everything like he just did so maybe we don't die oh hmm oh went to the astral plane for a sec casually teleporting through space and time uh-huh <laughs> We're just going through space and time right now. You're the hero we all needed. A little Thank urchin you, rogue. Well, appreciate the stretch redeem. It's a good reminder for me to do so. <laughs> Oh, we crash. Even if you can't be seen, some criminal acts can be overheard. Hide to reduce noise. Cover your mouth when you cough. <laughs> Consume the flesh of your enemies. And always remember, you must construct additional pylons. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, enough so Vespian gas. Yeah, there's some Vespian gas growing out of this little statue. What's going on here? <laughs> Those living in the dead have plenty to save, but corpses won't be inclined. <laughs> <laughs> well, this wasn't on the schedule for today. <laughs> the look they had when reading that. <laughs> yeah! It's drumming time. Party down. To war, little goblins. To war! Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you just got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, damn. Time for a tumbling check. Hey, wake up. <laughs> Roll for gravity. <laughs> <laughs> what? Apparently I got a 20. Guy, <laughs> Matt, 20 on your... <laughs> hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the ground I got a nat one. I awaken once more. Why is there only a headache when my other 15 senses should be? <laughs> <laughs> Eight bit theater.
the tadpole squirms in your skull. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Check yourself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole hmm. is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. <sighs> Journal updated. Find a cure. Complete. Escape the Nautiloid. Time... Time to loot? Uh, is the there ground... Loot? The ground is pulsating. Is that that's not the, the ground. Thing? That's a that's a tentacle. Is it like ash on top of it? Wait, where? That mound. There must be a settlement. The big blue mound? Right there? Not like that's tentacle, yeah, but uh, over there up that hill that is also a tentacle, there's like ash and rock all over it. So mm -hmm. I, I walk into the water, and first thing she thinks is fresh water, there must be a settlement nearby. I mean, yeah, <laughs> if you follow running water long enough, you're gonna find people that decided to settle down, but that doesn't mean it's gonna I, I be think, civilization. I think the rope right there would. Classify it more than the fucking water would. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to make the rope. Mangled fighter. I have something to ask. Oh no, Shadowheart. Oh. Have a ghost from Destiny? <laughs> Yo. I guess she can respawn. <laughs> I don't know. Who are you? I was hoping that you might know that. I mean, I'm hoping that anybody knows anything right now. There's a bug in my head. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Huh. So you didn't, you didn't see me roll that awesome 20? Uh... Yeah, what happened to our guest friend, actually? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Yeah, we... Hmm. Hmm. Pack mentality huntress? Yeah, ex-soldier. Soldier background, nobody left behind. We should look for her. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. So? We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We have all the tentacles we could need. We still have these little monsters in our heads. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any idea where we, where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. You want to stay together, I take it. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of... This... I kind of dislike this, like kind of forced dialogue where it's like do you want this person or do you not want this person like yeah the options are very like obvious on what you're going to do yeah the, mechanically so far this has been very uh lurchy and i'm assuming that like eventually it falls into a rhythm with itself or the player just kind of begins to suspend the uh mechanic being that way in their head i'm not entirely mm -hmm. sure i i hope that they get better about it in the writing it's like much yeah. like any D, D campaign like how did four characters come together well you're all in a boat how did we get there doesn't matter you're on a boat now 
Mm. Like that's I don't know how many campaigns I've started that way. Uh, so like I get that from a D and D standpoint. That's it, it is difficult to set up in the first place. Um, personally, I don't like the character. Racist. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this button here. Community poll mode activated. Everybody, put in your votes. How do we see where to vote? I should be able to highlight the stream, like uh, move your mouse over the stream, and it'll show up on the left-hand side. There's a little pop-up thing. You might have to activate the uh, the applet or extension or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I might have. Yeah, to have the. Oh, there we go. Vote for dialogue okay. option. It popped up finally. Okay. Dan, vote now. <laughs> is there like a timer on how long the vote is? I'm just getting everybody a sec and then I'll... Yeah, it's starting to move now. We got 33 and 67, so that's three votes. Hmm. All right. Any chapters? No, yeah, I mean that works for me. We got we got two votes for against and uh Yeah. Yeah, she was a bit of a bitch. Yeah. Same. You sure about that? Neither of us knows what lies ahead. True. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's stay together. No, I'm sure. It's best if you head on your way now. I'll go help the Githyanki. You're going to stab her in the back. Perhaps we'll meet again. If you survive, that is. Yeah, if you do too. You got a bug in your head. Get out of here. We don't need her anyways. Where's my awesome protector? Right here. <laughs> True. A barrel. A barrel. Old. Highlight items. Highlight nearby items. Le hold left alt to highlight lootables. Oh, that's so much oh. easier. It's a backpack. A hat. A I got a fancy hat. You find a dozen a dozen different currencies go. in Feyrun, Feyrun, but everyone accepts gold. Is it a singular gold? Yeah, it is. Aw. Intellect Devourer level 1. A perfumed letter. Still legible in spite of water stains and smeared ink. See? I love you. There. I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky. But so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they've always been a little bit easier when you're here. Leave your boat. Meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Aw. I hope they found each other. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bucket of fish. Shanties for the bitch queen? For the bitch queen? Pick up the entire backpack. To draw any attention. Uh, right click. Send to camp. Huh. Add to hotbar. Open. I have bags and bags. How do I equip backpack? Where does... Uh, no, not like that. Not like that. Show helmet. That's gloves, I'm assuming. Did you find... Let's see, leather armor, leather armor, leather armor. You found a hat? I did your... find a hat. Oh, my game just crashed. Oh, no. It's because I stole a necklace out of your pocket. It was actually a load-bearing necklace. 
No, uh, I still saw Shadow Heart on the right, and then I tried to take something out of her inventory and <laughs> just said no. <laughs> I was just like, ooh, young? And it was just like, I don't think so, buckaroo. <laughs> Note to self, at the end of uh, the combat phase with Shadow Heart before activating the, the helm, take all the stuff out of her inventory. <laughs> It, it was just a potion, so we're fine. I mean, a long it also sword had the artifact in the inventory, though. Yeah, I was gonna say a longsword will put you up for the night, and artifact will send you on a quest. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I save game. Maybe. Um, I might be able to rejoin because don't you still have it open? Mm hmm. It should just be an easy rejoin. Oh, okay. I just have to reload the game. Did a little bit of an XDD. <laughs> Ooh. I have no idea how the um like rejoin and functionality on this the drop in drop out. That sounds that's interesting. Like, oh well, my character's still there. You can play as my character now. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Also weird. Yeah. Whoa, you were in some stuff over here. Yeah, I was like, the Sandy went that way, I'm gonna go this way. I was like, exploring the coastline, looking at all the bodies over here. Mangled Fisher, empty, take all, right click, can't pick up, too heavy, damn it. What if I wanted to take the whole Mangled Fisher? <laughs> More gold. Oh! There was a backpack back there that I looted. Maybe I can pick that up. You can. And, like, wear it. I don't know where to put it. I have one in my inventory as well. Okay. I can open it. Like, it can be in my, my bag and also have stuff dropped into it, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. So it's just, like, a storage thing that you can have. That's pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be that way, but yeah, it's... You can craft your own potions, poisons, and elixirs using alchemy. And gather ingredients to distill into extracts and experiment to brew wondrous solutions. Dagger root. That's an actual food. A mysterious liquid has dried to the bottom of this bottle. What does it say? Does that oh, mean you can here? ping things. You can what? You can ping things. Oh. With uh, alt right click. Okay. So I found an ancient door. And overgrown ruins. I'll head over to where you're at. This looks like something for later. Oh, whoa. I didn't realize I could actually, like, break away the map. Okay. These commoners are empty. Center camera. Home to center camera. Left mouse. Double click portrait to center. Okay. <laughs> Ow. I'm on fire. Oh, I'm in combat. Uh. Hello. Hi. Ow. Really? Get off of her! Damn, these things are way stronger than I would expect. Die! Nice. Alright, that makes this a lot easier. Still too far. Oh, I got it. Nice. Oh, I missed! Oh, Another there's one. more. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Oh. Uh, They're down. This stay between life and death. Yes. I, I, I am currently down bad. Oh, I can't help you now, because I went and killed that, uh, 
<laughs> this is awkward. Da, 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 die. And now it dash. How? Okay. I'm at one health. Let me see. Uh, right click. Right, so. so I can't attack. All I can do is heal on this turn. Hmm. Yeah. These things hit hard. All right. You, oh, you got that. Never mind. Okay. Now, before I use a potion, is there a healing over here? Yeah, is there a healing machine? Oh, I can climb up here? Neat. Was that experience Spiked worth it? Spiked bulb. And a potion of healing. What's over this way? I wonder. Can I jump from here to there? What is that? You stepped in a surface that could become okay. dangerous if affected by elements like fire or lightning. Most surfaces like this can be washed away with water. Cartilaginous chest. This has a simple toxin. Take it. A dead mind flayer. With a potion of speed and a void bulb. Interesting. What I wonder about all this is like, what is. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> Youch! I don't know. Oh, I am. Safe play. Yeah, we're both on fire now. Short rest. Take a short rest to recover half your lost hit points. How do I open rest menu? Initiate short rest. Short rest. Time to get going, Joff. Okay. Yeah, it was like, hey, this surface is different. And then I was like, oh yeah, I can like dip my weapon in surfaces. I remember that. And then it was just like so do you want do you want to continue west or do you want to go up to those ruins that I found? Uh, well, there's also is this a path north? Maybe. What is this? Yeah, there's also a north oh. path. Okay, let's go north then. Okay. Another mind player. Push the speed and a caustic bulb. Now there's a northeast, a west, and a north. There may be even more that survived the crash. Oh, interesting. Uh, what the hell? I want to use it. Yeah. All right. the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. Is it malfunctioning? It looks slightly dangerous. Same. You know I'm gonna touch it. Mmm. Spicy. Spicy wall. Spicy wall with freehand! Anyone? <laughs> Slap the hand. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> A community vote has begun. Also, while we're at it, uh, let's, see, let's click on this. Oh, there we go. Now it actually shows up. It's quite a delay between uh, stream and not. I'm also very tempted to go get myself a cookie from inside while I'm waiting. <laughs> Who, Who are you? Who are you? 
Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. <laughs> I still want to slap the hand. All right, grab the hand and pull. Oh, I have to. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. What if you just pull too hard and take his whole hand off? <laughs> Not twenty, and you just rip him out. <laughs> That's it. Go on, keep pulling. Oh, this guy. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. <laughs> All right. No need to apologize. Are you alright? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What a strange way to say that. Don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Wait, what? Draw your weapon. <laughs> How did you get stuck in that stone? I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in free fall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side. As it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Whoa. That explanation of the mechanics of magic is really deep. I like the fact that, like, he's explaining mechanically how a spellcasting, in this case for, like, transportation works. You see projected probabilities and act on one when it's available in a ley line. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> I took control of the ship, landed it safely, and saved the day. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, which one of us did grab the controls? That was you, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was me. Yeah, but we didn't land it safely. Yeah, <laughs> as you can so... see with the fire in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so to be honest, I haven't have a clue. Fair enough. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Are you not? A really very strange way of speaking, Sir of Waterdeep. Sir Gale of Waterdeep. Uh... I guess number two is what you just <laughs> said. Yeah! <laughs> no use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of ex Excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Why is it that our character has all voiced descriptions from the voice line that we chose? For narration, but not for these interactions with the other characters. Um, they must have just been like, eh, it's too much. That's so weird. Too many voices. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. Uh, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not, as a ranger. I suppose few enough can. Not exactly a common affliction. Thankfully, to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? All right, I'm leaving this one up to you folks as well. While we're doing that, I'm gonna put myself on a B right back because I need to go use a restroom. OBS, where are you? Chatters, chat, 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 chatters, please chatters. vote. Vote, 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 dink, donk, dink, donk, donk, dink, 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 dink,
Dink, dink, donk, 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 dink, donk, donk. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. I'm one of these parasites. What did I knock over? Oh, my. Well. Oh. I have things to clean. I'll be back. <laughs> It looks like everybody is wanting the guy to join us. Sound like a plan. Oh, well, now I feel awful. I just left this on complete silence. Terrible, terrible. I am so sorry, folks. Here. Ah, oh, I just a little bit of chatting. Yeah. Oh, my. Uh, I walked past the fridge and opened it up. And then look. And I see cheese. And I steal the cheese. And then I look into the freezer. Because for Jeez. some reason, I keep checking in there, even though, like, nothing that's in there is, like, something you can immediately eat. And, uh, I see the, the steak that I got for last night's hot pot. And I keep wanting to eat it while it's raw, because it's already formed into the shape of something that I would eat. Also, we got a 100% vote for, sounds like a plan. Alright. You're now eligible to get the Twitch Camp Clothing set for Baldur's Gate 3. We we just unlock clothing, I guess? Heck yeah. Where is this? Claim now. Not sure what that do. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, my text is all junk. There we go. I returned once more. Thankfully, there wasn't too long of a break because I didn't need that vault. All right. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved, or something to that effect. <laughs> but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It's an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. What a strange... Uh, okay. Congrats, Plus Gale. Plus 30 XP. First in magic, are you? So is there a way to... Oh, we can zoom out on the map. Oh. I'm not. Why do you ask? No matter to worry the unlettered over. Can we like click and drag the map? Is no. Oh, you can just click on the map. Duh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's quite the few ways we can go. If we go right, we can go to the ruins. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to check that out. There is. This is interesting. 
I wonder how much of this is randomly generated. Like, is it possible to grind in this game, or is everything permanent? Like, when you when you kill a bandit, does that bandit stay dead forever, and no other bandits reappear in that spot? Hmm, maybe. Oh, that's a that's a portal. We can Oh, oh. Well, uh cool. Um do you have this waypoint? Okay, looks like you do. Yellow. <laughs> Hi. Wasn't expecting that. Locked. Oh, Steve's to Well, us. luckily. I'm a rogue. <laughs> and I failed. Ah. So, wait. If I used the thieves' tools, I would have been able to. It's just I fucking didn't. Oh, oh no, I no. did. Oh, okay. Locked. I just so... got a nineteen instead of a twenty. Oh, that sucks. I would love to play this in VR. Like, I'm looking at just how detailed everything around us is. And this is <laughs> easily, like... Uh, damn, you ran off. I was going to get a screenshot of the two of us here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming back. I still have to get to my own gaming channel, so bear with me. Blah, 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 blah. Go over here, go over here, go over here. And print screen again. Yeah. I, I like your your little hat. It's <laughs> Thank really you. Cute. This is... Wow. I guess we go back to the portal? Huh. Do you not have any thieves tools? Oh, do I need to, like... I'm not a thief, I'm a ranger. No, I uh, just... Maybe you had a... So, I don't know. Oh no. We got a keychain, alchemy pouch, camp supplies. Wait, I have a keychain. Hold up. Didn't I find a golden key earlier? Uh... A golden key? Yep, I did. I found an elaborate gilded key. Uh, add to Why can't I dual wield a rapier? Oh, we leveled up. Oh, we did. Level up. Ooh, got plus seven health. That's really good. Gain yeah, for only health. having ten. <laughs> yeah. You gain two level one spell slots, which are now restored on a long rest. Choice is pending. Oh. Okay. Rogue got nothing. Convince a beast not to attack you. Cure wounds. Good barrier. Berries disappear after a long rest. You just have to cast them at the beginning of any good, uh, long rest. That's interesting. No effect on undead and constructs. So, healing does not qualify as harm touch. It is not a reversible evocate or er, conjuration. Enhanced leap. Triple a jumping distance. Speak with animals. You know it. And cure wounds. Real basic ranger stuff, I know, I know, but also very necessary. Fighting style. Ooh. Gain a plus two bonus to range weapon attacks. 
Not to attack, not to damage. I gain a plus two to hit. I'm mm -hmm. going to hit so much more often. We can level up Gale as well. What's the uh, Gale, new yeah. guy we got. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he can change subclass at level? That's interesting. Oh, no. You seem to know a bit more about, like, what's going to be immediately useful for a given class in 5e. What would you recommend here? I have no idea. I played one campaign and I didn't even make it through it. Oh, okay. Well, that being said, I'll go with some 2e classics then. Oh, chromatic orb. Charm person. And magic missile. But chromatic orb. Um, Chromatic orb is one of the coolest spells to have in second edition for Unearthed Arcana. And I'm about to nerd out here for a second, so if you're not into D&D, sorry folks, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, <laughs> the Unearthed Arcana modification for chromatic orb adds the ability to cast previous levels of it and for each level of spellcaster you are of illusionist because i believe it is an illusionist based and i.e or therefore uh magic user subclass but i think that that like split out in later editions where any given magic user subclass could use it but uh at mastered level it could outright destroy a, a target entirely and lore wise in my my own universe um it's very uncommon for a level 17 spellcaster to completely max out chromatic orb for the purposes of combat that is a terrifying reality altering weapon on the same like level of invocate or evocation as um wish like you are changing the the rules of reality itself and bending every other dimension to your will simultaneously you become the conduit by which all this happens and your constitution comes into play as how much throughput can be run through your body this is why it's important to have high constitution as a spellcaster but yeah uh it's really cool to see that like right here the reason that it, it lists three to 24 damage so like Equivalent damage of having a hand axe hit you in the chest versus having a boulder fall on you, like, <laughs> in a single <laughs> round. It is a very powerful spell. <laughs> Lopius, Lopius, Lopius. Good for Lopius. Uh, open keychain. This fellow has nothing in the keychain. Nothing in the alchemy pouch. Supplies. 40 camp supplies. A collection of cured meats, dried fruits, kindling, and anything else necessary to survive life on the road. Everything, down to the flint, smells distinctly of smoked ham. <laughs> I need to correct my calibration because it has been driving me nuts. Every time I look down, she starts doing the OMG face, and I need her to stop that. <laughs> one moment we're gonna we're gonna make me go blah 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 and look around and and calibrate and calibrate and calibrate and calibrate and calibrate neutral and we're gonna calibrate some more and we're gonna calibrate some more while i'm just looking around talking and just going blah 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 and being neutral okay that should be enough theoretically theoretically she'll stop doing that now if i still smile yeah that still works cool uh driving the software is very silly Back into the game. So I can steal his camp supplies, which is really funny to me. But she's still doing it. I don't know why. Lady, could you... Yeah? You better? No? No, I'm still doing that. Alright. I guess we're just having some funkiness. <sighs> oh! Okay. Um, Sandy? Yeah. A little combat tip 
If you click on your sword at the bottom left, it'll mm -hmm. show you all of the attacks that you can do with that. And then if you click on the bow at the bottom left, it'll show you all the attacks you can do with that. Oh. All right. Sorry, I'm still fighting with my software here because I'm very tired of doing this when I'm trying to read. Okay. Maybe that'll work? I don't know. Oh, no, I'm right over here. Okay. So, when clicking on the sword... What was that? Dip. Offhand. Piercing. Flourish. Okay. Possibly throw an enemy off balance. Do regular damage. Possibly inflict gaping wounds, which cause extra damage on further attacks. There's so many options. I can add toxin to my arrows? Interesting. I wonder if you can add a toxin to your arrow of ice. <laughs> oh, that'd be messed up. Also, um, you see how you have the red bars going through your um, abilities at the bottom? Mm -hmm. You can click and drag to um, oh. like lengthen them. And then at the far right, there's increase rows and decrease rows with a plus and minus, and you can expand. Ooh. Okay. Now I see why people had four rows. Mm -hmm. yes. However, uh, as a rogue, I currently have no rows. I tried attacking the door. It didn't work. Now, I was trying to right-click on it to see if using the gold key was an option, but it just says can't use this right now. Hmm. I think the gold key might have been to the um, chest that I pick locked. Oh, well, I stole the chest too, so I have the correct key to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can lock oh. it. <laughs> so do we go the other way, or are we going back to where we teleported from? Uh, yes. I'm leaving this one up to you, actually. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm just enjoying myself. Well, here, this kind of looks ah. like a dead end. Whoa. Burning yourself over there. Mm -hmm. There's some crates, some barrels. Oh, crates and barrels. more thieves tools. I can have another shot at opening that door. Oh, this is locked. But I can pick up the entire thing and take it with me. I can lockpick this. Do I lockpick the chest, or do I lockpick the door? Well, I'd say go for the door. Yeah. It's still a 20, though, so there's only a 5% chance that you're going to get it open. Can't swim. You're going for a swim. It won't let me. Damn. Yeah. Oh, tools break on the unsuccessful attempt. Okay. So yeah, ninety five percent. Okay. There's something still going wall over here. Okay, so I have a guaranteed chance to open this chest then, because oh. I have a it's a five uh, difficulty class, and I have a plus um, seven to whatever okay. I roll. Ooh, I got a leather helmet. Do you want a leather helmet? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it gives a plus one to dexterity saving throws. Oh. Here you go. Do not show that helmet. That is ugly. Oh, you can make it so it doesn't show? Mm-hmm. There's exactly. another person over here. There's a whole pod just chilling here? What is it? What? It just landed fucking straight up. Hey, bud. How are you? I've got one of those brain things cornered. Aww. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? <laughs> Easily. Stand back. I'm so getting a, a screenshot of you. That is not a brain thing. 
Uh oh. Nope. Oh. Okay. Failed perception. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. Does he not realize I'm just standing no. right here with a sword? I <laughs> saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Headbutt the elf. I'm, I'm gonna nod. <laughs> And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacle freaks did to me. The hell's are you talking about? Don't play dumb. What does it mean? Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. Hmm. What was that? What's going on? Oh. Slip free of the knife while he's distracted. You get a half a chance here. Nice. I got a plus three to the roll, though. Do you want me to just start shooting? Start shooting? Dude attacked us. Soar into your mind. Oh, okay. Took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> you better have more to offer than apologies. Imagine wine and flowers. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. He said it. He said the name. You're a Baldarian too. Wait, you're a Baldarian? I'm a, I'm a Baldarian. Those raised in Baldur's Gate know the city well, for better or for worse. Apparently, you're a Baldarian. I'm an urchin, though. I guess oh. I'm an urchin from Bal. Yeah, because it's a large city. Do you okay. Know anything about these words? Uh, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. You already are a monster. Although, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, wasn't he a vampire, according to the it, intro stuff? Someone that can control these things. He looks like it. Time. There's like backstory. He's got the bite on his neck. He's got the. Oh, here's the bite? I didn't see it. Yeah. Um, although it hasn't happened yet, there might still be time. Um, uh, control you can it when you get rid of it. <laughs> you can shelter at my camp so I can eat you later. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What should we do? Uh, do you want to deal with this guy potentially turning on us, because apparently he's got higher dexterity than you. He's kind of hot, though. Yeah. Good voice. <laughs> Good voice. Nice style. Yeah, add, add him to our strange gay little party of purple people. <laughs> gay little party of purple. <laughs> Everybody's got purple. <laughs> you know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd... The herd. The herd. <laughs> All right. I accept. Lead on. Somebody, please clip that. <laughs> the herd. <laughs> There's a scared boar. Give me just a moment. Do you moment. want to use your hunter stuff? I do. I'm currently rolling a joint. I'm sorry. I chose a bad time <laughs> to start. I was like, cutscene. Perfect time for me to do this. <laughs> the herd. The herd. <laughs> I'll just have to remember to go back. Snag that one if nobody else does. Yeah, I don't know about this vampire guy. Um, he... <laughs> First of all, who who and how did he 
how how manage fall sky and land upright and okay? <laughs> he did a little bit of finagling. <laughs> he spotted a glimmer. And he followed that glimmer. Okay, where is where where is this ball? Point. Wait, where is the scared scared boar? I see fire. Uh, wait, it was over this way. Oh, it's right there. Uh, oh. I should speak up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speak with animals. Look, huh. I have communed with animals now. Heck yeah. I forgot. Away. Away. Whoa! I won't hurt you. <laughs> Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me. <laughs> you ran off. <laughs> Ashes of balsam. Okay, so that's that overturned wagon. Is there anything down here? So another thing I noticed is, um... If you press, uh, in I to go into your inventory, at the top there is an alchemy tab, and you can do a little bit of crafting. Oh, this looks really cool. Potions, poisons, elixirs... Alright. I mean, we don't really have much to craft with right now. Suspension. Yeah. But we're getting there. See a little alcove down there. Yeah, I was trying to click on it, but it says can't get there. I feel like there's something buried down there. I can jump, but I'll go prone and lose 6 HP. Oh no. I think we got more mind player things to contend with over here. Oh wait, we can talk to our party members. Another yeah. We'll need to keep our wits sharp around him, I think. You can tell them to hang out of the camp. Interesting. Tell mm -hmm. me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. Hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Where'd you go to college? I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. Okay. There. there. I want to know more than your, just your hobbies. Can you tell me something about the real you? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. <laughs> Try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. You have a plus two on that advantage. Mm, I am very interested in utilizing the powers of the Mind Flayer. Oh, it's a 15. <laughs> uh -oh. He's a spellcaster. Of course he has a high wisdom save on this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swaps your efforts away with infuriating... Ease. Gale disapproves. Oops. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Please don't try that again unless I invite you to. Understood. <laughs> there, a mind player. And it's her. Oh. I'd rather it be her than me. Do be careful. Hey there, buddy. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. 
why do you feel compassion? That's interesting. Why do we feel compassion? I'm assuming it's just it invoking it's, it's the its worm. own will. I don't even think it's the worm. It, we saw it do like the hand gesture thing the same way that it did when it like force turned our neck towards it. Oh yeah, true. And he's got like the uh, pulsating waves around his head. Yeah, you should be furious, shouldn't you? You feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Hmm. I'm going to try and peer into its mind. Hey, let's go. All right. Minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. <laughs> Do I smooch the cephalopod? <laughs> I mean, I do. I do keep like craving and lusting after more power of the illithid. This guy behind me is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, you only need a five. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> the monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Oh, dead space. Rip Bozo. Isaac sends his regard. Death is too good for it. Yonk. I looted him. Oh, <laughs> faster <laughs> than me. <laughs> what's, what's flashing over here? Whoa, what is... Mind player empty. Oh. A crushed spike trap. No trap disarm toolkit available. Hmm. How how does the spike trap work? Is it just like I don't know. I think it was supposed to fall from above. Oh yeah, there's rope up here. Oh yeah, okay. I guess because it's crushed, it was yeah. already used. I found a shovel. A shovel? I hear shouting up ahead. Oh, I found a treasure chest. Ooh. An arrow of lightning, fire amber, and gold. Hell yeah. Oh, which way do you want to go? Um, mm. Oh, we have another set of uh, thieves tools. Uh, Asteron had a set of his own. Oh, nice. Do you want to try doing the door? Like, what if we do uh, get in there? We did hear shouting up ahead, so should we check out the shouting first? 
Sure. All right. Uh, well, this is like backtrack. Back, yeah. Back, yeah. Oh, here's people. Lazel. That's Lazel. Damn it. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. I <laughs> love your little hat. <laughs> Deception. Hmm. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Um, or talk beforehand to try and plan something out with Lizelle. I'm. I don't know. I like. I have a plus four on all of these rolls. Ooh. I can go for a deception check or the persuasion check. Both of those are probably going to be like the more uh, effective ones. Um... <laughs> Rather demanding for a woman in your position, why should I? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real nice broadsword you got there. How about I uh, relinquish that? <laughs> Um, should gonna... I do the why should I? <laughs> That's up to you. I I actually, like, from the get-go, they'll try to attack us, but immediately afterwards, like, oh, hey, sorry, uh, mo let's do this. So, yeah, I, I do have the sassy aspect. Speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Oh. Okay, so now we have these two options. Yeah. I feel like if we do the persuasion one, we get to kill the tieflings, loot them. Oh, okay. You go go kill some tieflings? Yeah. Instead, the deception would be they walk away. Are we an evil party? I'm an urchin. I like stealing. But are we an evil party? What's our alignment here? Are like chaotic neutral, like lawful evil? What are we? Um, I'm like a I hate the rich kind of character. Okay. Uh, I kind of only fend for myself. Okay. And my close control. friends, I guess. Okay. It's a close moral compass. Somewhere <laughs> in the neutral zone, but you could easily still be like chaotic or lawful. As lawful in this case would only apply if uh, you're operating under like set guidelines by your own culture and community, i.e. in this case being an urchin could be applied to such, but it's that's just a uh, rough character play i would say this is your character <laughs> is your character evil at all uh so i kind of fucked up and i didn't think about it when i chose ranger but rangers have to be good <laughs> okay <laughs> uh Rangers don't have to be good according to anything that I've seen in, in this game. Like, by 5e, I'm pretty sure that Ranger just means ranged melee combat specialist, which mm -hmm. is not to be confused with a fighter specialist ranged combat specialist, which is a completely separate class with a completely different experience table. D&D, why are you like this? Uh... <laughs> But, so, yeah, I think that in this case we're more of a, a fighter specialist ranger rather than a uh, ranger, ranger of the traditional, uh, what was it, strider lore. So, hmm. But at the been... same time, we are both tieflings, and they are also tieflings. Yeah. So they would be like us, in a way. 
Yeah, there's definitely a, a racial, like, want to not kill my own people here, uh, but also knowing that most tieflings are bound and sworn to whichever of the three prime evils that they're currently worshipping. Mm -hmm. so, like, we are all red tieflings as well. I'm actually a blue tiefling with a skin collar dye. Uh, that's, oh. like, its own, like... <laughs> I'm not even sure how to approach. There's something inherently racist there, and I, I, I screwed <laughs> up. But um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so do I just go for the deception? I'd say go for deception and see if maybe we can like pickpocket them or something. It. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. All right, all right. Easy peasy. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Gale approves. Okay. Carry. A blast. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. <laughs> I'm in dire need of healing. Where is your camp? <laughs> My legs are so tired. <laughs> Do a little bit of stealing at their camp. Look I knew it. <laughs> Whatever your wound. <laughs> and be uh, careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Good to know. Come. Nemessa. Good thing we didn't kill them, I guess. Get I guess down. so. She said that out loud. Jeez. She said that out loud. <laughs> when they're right there of all places. Yeah, yeah. Can I shoot it down? Okay, no, I cannot. How do I get it down? Unsurprising. Oh? <laughs> the sand wife disapproves. She was so sad. <laughs> what does cake mean? <laughs> Mind players. The atrocities we are becoming. What does what mean? Like the G H A I K. That's what is that uh, not the That's what the character just asked out loud. Like I'm reading the line. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Becoming. There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Okay. Recipe Ashes of Dragon Egg Mushroom? Examine. Oh yeah, I picked up a little mushroom. Cute. Throw. Alright, so we need to figure out how to get her down. Attack. You're gonna attack her? No, I was trying to attack the cage. I'm guessing it's over this way, the path that we didn't take before. Because this goes uphill, and the cage is attached to something uphill. There's another cage. Another broken trap. Oh, where are you going? I'm walking around the area. Not much use anymore. See if I can find any other clues to anything over here. Well, if the cage is tied to the roof, we just gotta go to the roof, no? And untie it. Look, I didn't say that my int was high. In fact, I'm pretty sure <laughs> can canonically my character's int is actually really low. Yeah, I, I did my int very high and my wisdom very low. I'm very smart, but not wise. <laughs> <laughs> you read a lot of books, but you don't apply it well. Where is... <laughs> Character sheet. Okay. Uh, intelligence 8. Wisdom 15. Yeah. I have spidey senses, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, oh, I can untie there. this cage and it will drop. It's not wise, though, because she'll <laughs> take fall damage. <laughs> oh, another, another waypoint. Oh. Heck yeah. Wait, complete. complete. How? What? Huh? Did she just get uh, it on her own? I'm gonna go back and check.
Uh, she's gone. Uh oh. Is the cage gone? Dude, the cage is gone. What? Completed quests. Oh. We left her to her fate. Oh no. Um. Should we load the autosave? If you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, I, w I intended on saving her, so let's load the autosave. I didn't know how, like, um, you were about loading autosaves and stuff like that. So, yeah, we can do that. Right. I, uh, this is a story-driven game, so our choices will affect things in that manner. There's going to be times where, like, if, oh, right, you're a, you're a hardcore player. We could do this hardcore. No, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. I, like, oh, it's, okay. it's all your stuff. Like, I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm fine either way. I, uh, I'm curious. Like, if we were to keep playing, I would have left that as we were looking for a way to help her out, but couldn't find one, and the goblins took her. Like, I like that. That's the way I would have played it. I wonder if the spike trap would be a thing. I also wonder. If, see, all right, it says still says free her. Free her. Do you think the spike trap could be used? Hmm. Maybe. Enjoy a future as gate. Maybe it's like a slur, like. <laughs> What like what is a gate? Oh, is this where? What is this? Oh, it is. It is a shoot the thing. Oh, it is. We shoot the we shoot the floor out from under her. Oh, it's instead of the cage. It was the floor. Gotcha. I'm in dialogue, by the way. What's that? There's a dialogue. Oh, thank you. You will join me. We must find a crack. That's oh. the cure for this infection. A crash? Oh, you can see dialogue history at the bottom left. Oh. She said the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all our senses, auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find the Kresh. You will join me. Hmm. Wait, why, why is this, you're clearly no friend of tieflings? What the heck? I don't want to choose a racist option, but why does your character have that? <laughs> um. Well, she's asking, will you join me? So how would she not be a friend to tieflings? Yeah. Descended from devils of the nine hells by blood or curse, tieflings face constant suspicion and favor, and their arcane abilities make them natural survivors, whether as heroes or villains. That's really weird. It's really weird that it offers you that, but I guess, like, you I can guess she choose. was caged by the tieflings, so, like, the hmm. tieflings hated her already, or something? I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Um. I'm curious what the crash is. Other than that, I'm just fine with going It is forward. many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Oh. The Yankee protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. Oh. Augusto. All right. We journey together. You Let's find this crash. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Oh. Oh. Um, huh. wait a minute. 
Sure. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Huh. Free her. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, ooh, uh, Astorian is ready to be leveled up. Oh, nice. Do you want to go about leveling up characters, or...? No, I'll let you do this one. I did the last All one. Right. I'ma just watch. But maybe I... I don't know if I can watch. Here, I will... do this. Stream it to the Discord. Hey! I have not attempted to link these things, but let's see what I can do. Watch stream. Oh my. <clears throat> uh, so he is also a rogue, so he gets the same stuff that I do. He's just a rogue. I thought he was a spellcaster. No. He is a rogue. Okay. I can add class. Oh, Multi-classing. You, you can split class. Interesting. Should we make him a bard as well? <laughs> the flamboyant rogue and bard. Uh, I like this. I like this idea. He gets cantrips. Vicious mockery. Okay. <laughs> I, I like it. I very much like it. So I opens up a more classical RPG inventory. Open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And class features adds a spell slot. Okay. I feel like Bard really fits his character really well. It seems to, yeah. Uh, start digging. Uh, here. Nothing. Oh, okay. We don't have an instrument for him to play yet. However, he is now on Bard. Nothing but that. Nothing. Well, we found my new thing that I'm going to be doing everywhere. Nothing but that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Nothing but that. You are now the excavation team. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's a person over there. Well, well, Wait, hold on, hold on. I got this. You can tick at people. Oh, yeah. Just have a few. Okay. <laughs> so we needed to tell him to stand still, but he followed you. Yeah, he followed me right into it. Salute the crypt. Not happening. Oh, he has his own stuff. Okay. Just grin, burying your fangs. Intimidation check. Hmm. It does have a advantage roll on it too. It doubles, yeah. Do it. That's amazing. Oh wow. Stomped <laughs> it. Well, uh in that case, come on. <laughs> no point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. That's amazing. <laughs> damn it, I wanted to big buck at that guy. He had, he had something green on him. I don't know what. Well, 
we now know a bit more about the mechanics of interacting with random people. That, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Cracked stone. Right above it, there's a foundation block. A bedroll. A burlap sack and a backpack. Pick up. Ooh. Pick up. There was a lot of stuff in there. Pick up. Just taking all the bags. Another shovel. Would you like to dig as well? I would love to dig. We will be... What is it called? Diggy, diggy, Archaeologists. Diggy. Split item. Uh, to silver. Well, no, split item. Confirm. What? No. Split item. Why is it doing that? <laughs> have left the plaque unreadable so now what i wonder oh what's happening over there uh yeah you'll want to join this dialogue so this guy just asked if gimbalbach is still outside uh this door has somebody on the other end mm. <laughs> yes it's me let me in Gimbalbox well, this dialogue is as if I'm nowhere know. near you. Because I'm over at the other side. Situational. Situational. Deception. <laughs> Charisma check. Ooh. Oh, no. That's a one. The oh, no. Fail. So, canonically now, my character is just awful at persuading people. <laughs> no, I, oh. Now it's Eve's tools available. I hope you have more. Oh, I do. Okay. Um, do we oh, want yeah. to try shooting this... Rope down, sending it crashing down. Where are we going through that door? Because oh, I can okay. pick lock that door and go right inside. Ooh. Just kind of looking around over here. Yeah. Entangled. If you stand on the twisting vines long enough, they'll just grab you. What? Where? Uh, right here. Huh. Oh, okay. I will pick lock the door. I'm coming in. Okay. I'll shoot. I need to go over to where you are then to give you backup with ranged. I have no idea how to use these other characters. Sleight of hand successful. I didn't even need to roll the dice. It was a seven and I have a plus seven to it. Find familiar. Oh, oh. Explore the ruin. Find familiar spider. And she's a worshiper of the spider. The spider god. Yay. Hey there, buddy. Join me. I join you. Is my spider here? Yay. Look at my little spider. Gail, Gail, Gail. I see three people in the next room. Hey, you're drunk. Some odds and ends. The cutting one. Some books. Gonna read those later. Hold on, I got this. Indecipherable text covers the plaque. The dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Stealing <laughs> their candles. 
<laughs> oh, you can snuff the candles. Okay, we no longer have to hide in this room. I closed the door. Thank you. I'm still going to sneak around because uh, you never know when you're going to level up a skill. Stack of book. There's so much stuff to be taken. I wish I could steal the chair. <laughs> I, I can throw the chair. Right. You can use it as a weapon, I'm pretty sure. Do you have improvised melee weapon? I do. I had the Jackie Chan skill. I just stole a giant wheel of cheese. Stealing their sausage. Supply pack. I feel like I'm playing ESO. We're taking everything. It's all ours now. It's ours, yeah. Give me give me your boss for wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a knife, thank you. A fork, delightful. How about this tin cup? Indecipherable text covers the Merchant! An entire kitchen in our <laughs> This is the best. Oh, I just stole a cauldron. We're gonna have the best supplied camp. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome we home, everybody. Damage just so much shit. <laughs> oh, I can give you a torch. Here. <laughs> the sneaking animation is I wander over here. <laughs> a bucket. All right. Oh, this is so good. Am I, <laughs> where's what's my encumberment? I'm at half my encumberment. Okay, I need to start paying attention. Uh, put this out. Do I do I open the door? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's locked. All right. Well, the lever opens the door. Uh oh. Murder! Kill his ass! Ow! Oh, okay. Uh, play a tune to delight those around you. Uh, the power. And turn. And then, kill him. There's one of them. Dang. Pulls out a violin. I'm not stay here and let them come to us. Okay, oh, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Oh. Um. Hmm. Mage armor. Yeah, fireball, needs to heal. yeah, everyone needs to heal. Push away all creatures and objects. Sleep, grease, grease. Ray of frost targets movement speed. You have an action and a bonus action uh, yeah. for Gale. I can also give Gale a bow, as well as give. No, don't don't cast that. Don't don't cast that. You stop that. Thank you. I'm a short sword. Uh, mage armor, yes. Self. Also, um, well, so much for peace. A tale for the ages. Jump over there, so he can just chill out out of the fight. Uh, oh snap! He's ensnared in the fire. Wow, we uh. We walked into a fight we probably shouldn't have. No, oh, uh oh. Do you see how many characters are at the top of the screen? Yeah, it's uh, quite a few of them. It's your spiders turn to go. Oh, that guy has way more health than us. I think we 
I think we may have just lost the game. Uh, I help you up. Okay. It puts me at one health. And then? I have a 15% chance to shove him, so I'm not gonna do that. Um... I can't walk away because that'll give him the reaction chance. I'll just I'll just stab him, I guess. Never mind, I won't stab him, I guess. If I, yeah, if I try to walk, I'm gonna not enough resources. Fuck. Also, sorry for swearing, folks. I, uh... Okay, yeah, we got, we got fucked. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we dead. Uh, that is a TKO. Oh, you shit. Load game. Chapel entrance. Wow. That went from, like, a problem to a big problem really quick. <laughs> so let's, let's loot the room and then just leave. And come back some other time. <laughs> okay. I'm fine with that. We'll steal their kitchen supplies and get out of there. <laughs> like, even looking at Gale's spells, there was nothing that was, like, good crowd control. I had a burn the area around you for... Or not around you, but... Like, in an area where you throw the thing. You have mine, um, for one to uh, eight damage. I have to keep going. So I could have burned their entire party that's all stacked on top of each other. You go close the door. You gotta go click the lever, not the door. Not the door. Too late. Commence battle. But the door is closed now. I I screwed up. Uh, let me reload that again. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. I'm I'm learning about the mechanics as well. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. No. Every time you reload, uh, I guess that kicks me out. It makes sense. And then when I tried to rejoin while you were reloading, it. Crashed my game. <laughs> so now I have to reopen it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're good. We're good. We, we got a lot of looting to do, anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can just have a head start. Okay. I'm going to click on Stillved here. Tell them both to crouch. Breathe deep and move. Is there a quick button to crouch? See. Okay. Oh yeah, so it's right there on that the didn't hot bar. Work. Okay. She like We're about to do this again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you do it though. So I'll I'll wait to do any of that. But um while clicking the lever, she walks further out into the, the path. I don't know how you did it the first time. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I could just be bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> I did walk all the way up to the wall first. So you, you manually walked up there. Okay. Yeah. Like the past findings doing something with that. So I'll just chill here. I'm good to that. It gives me a sec. Uh, find familiar. Ooh, I wonder. So with the stone that's like floating above the ground behind you. Mm -hmm. There, that room would be kind of like right next to them. Hmm. There's not enough space in my pocket to steal this rock. It says. <laughs> but she's thinking about it. You know it. <laughs> we have to knock it down. I'm pretty sure it's just to shoot the rope type of thing.
much to send that stone crashing downwards. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Was it very much so radiant? Uh. Yeah, this is a problem. Hey, hey, hey! Do you want to try this, or should we just load again? It's... It's a 5v5, however, they have a lot more health than we do. Actually, mm -hmm. wait, no, some of these people only have 12. 16, uh, it's just a 15, 25 15. barbarian that you're standing next to. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I have an idea. So, you take your turn, and then it'll be the other person's turn, whoever Mari is. And then I'm gonna see if I can light this barrel on fire. Okay. Because if I can, that would separate the people that you're in a room with from the people that I'm in a room with. I guess piercing strike. Um, acid. Alright. <clears throat> Saved against Do piercing. Do you have a bonus action at all? Flourish. Or a cantrip or anything? Off balance. Good. They would still get an attack of opportunity if I try to do that. It's funny that it lets me look at crates while I'm in the middle of this. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's all I get though. I can't walk or I'm going to get struck by four different people. Coated in basic poison. Same wow. as piercing strike. In staring wow. strike. All right, so Ooh. okay, yeah, that that is what we have to do. Okay. So, do you want to reload? Yeah. Because I don't think we're making it out of this. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so either. Like, I am curious to see how much pushback uh, Gale. I can't even look into the building. Oh, I can. Where is that one? Thunder wave. Release a wave of thunderous force that pushes away all creatures and objects. On save, targets will still take half damage, but it's two d eight. Um. It could potentially one-shot multiple enemies. So wait, how do... I could do this. Go back over here. Click to confirm. Situational accidents. You have unlocked the... Not with another ability feature. How do I throw my... A flame in your hand sheds light... And deals when thrown. How do I throw it now? Check your different actions. Oh, there we go. Can I throw it here? To also burn that guy. Miss. It didn't light the fire. Fuck. <laughs> Die. Alright. <laughs> I don't know how to light the fire. I don't either. Uh, firebolt from this fellow would probably do it, but nobody's standing there right now. I am going to try this. 
Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Now I have a little bit more hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After watching that. Start pushing people. <laughs> yeah, this gives us some decent combat training, even if we lose again. Yeah, we get a little bit of knowledge. Mm hmm. Oh, my spider! <laughs> Hasid only has five health left. Nope, now four. And he's off balance. However, I don't think Gale's going to get another turn. Yeah. yeah. Athletic successful. Ooh, the spider got a little attack in. Attack him Down. on the energy. Alright, so... I can firebolt. Hurl a moat of fire. Um, that does quite a bit of damage. Oh if it, no! If it hit, if it hit, it would do damage. Um, so bonus action, I can healing word myself. Think, God for bards. Stab! Oh, snap. Okay, that, that was the bonus action as well. Okay, gotcha. They just shot me through a door. Critical miss. Oh, dude, she burned the door for 20. I was like, no way, she just did 20 fucking damage. My poor little spider. No! Holy shit. I'm gonna go for the kill. I missed. That's tragic. Absolutely tragic. Big oh, miss. This is interesting. Okay, ouch. Big miss. Still Yo. shooting me through a door and a wall at this point. Hold on a sec. Oh, he just kills people. Okay. Game over. Okay. So if there's still an enemy next to you when you're downed and he doesn't have a target, he can just kill you and you no longer get your saving rolls. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this has been really interesting. I did not expect this to uh, be as satisfying in combat as it is. It's. Mm, it's I've always loved turn based combat. I like turn based combat because I like uh, like the old JRPGs. Um, player joined. All right. Let me know when to go inside. Uh, and, I'm well, not in yet. Yeah. Uh, when you get in and you get hit that lever, uh, let's save again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. No, uh, we don't want to hit the lever because that will have everybody group up at the door, no? Did oh, that everybody last time? Group up at the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, because when you shot the rock down... That separated the group. Mm. So try shooting the rock down now. Okay. Because I don't think we want to close the door. Well, don't we want to loot the room? Yeah, but if they if we close the door, they'll be like, oh, there's people here, won't they? I have no idea. Let's see. Attack this. Wow, she has some good range on that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so don't go down there, though. 
Go through the door and yeah. Okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so there's. Why is there six total people now? Oh. Hmm. So, you shot the rock down, they went to go check it out, they were like, okay, it's nothing, and then they went back to their spots. Hmm. I pull the lever. Oh, never mind, I don't pull the lever. Dang. Okay. Well. Alright, we're gonna back up then. The simulation begins once again. Yeah, this time let's not bunch up and try and take tactical advantage of stuff. Um, what is my range on this? I will okay. use a health potion to start off the battle, though. This barb exploded in pack my... Uh... And then I'm going to grease the door. Okay. Like so. Aha. Good. I have an arrow of ice that I can fire at the door when they try to come through. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just fucking slipped and fell on his ass. Oh. oh, wow. That's so cheap. At least you saved against it. So I wonder, if they're chance. down, does it... Do they take more damage? Uh, That's so stupid. Nearly guaranteed chance to hit. Oh yeah, you need your one health. Uh, there you go. Let's okay, so I have a sixty-five percent chance to hit. Oh, that commences well, the battle. Oh, because you weren't in the fight yet. It was just me. Oh. So you were still taking rounds of combat. I'm sorry. I didn't That's, even know. I, I didn't know that either. <laughs> All right. Uh, mage armor. Cannot have armor equipped. Cast on self. Joined battle. And initiative four. Yeah, I got Astron in here now, too. Uh, so I was going to end turn here. Now I have these two hiding next to the door while okay. they try to run in. One just stood back up. Mm-hmm. Mage armor on Hashid. Barbarian rage. Hopefully we gotta stop letting over. him rage. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cast Healing Word. That sucks. Yeah, we started this one rough. I mean, it's not awful. Can you know, I the, firebolt somebody? The fact that you took longsword damage on the first round and, like, <laughs> that sucked. Yeah. There we go. Oh, hey. And now we're rehiding. And Dorn is down. Ooh. Snaring strike. Missed. Zero damage. My turn. How can I hit him? I can't see him. Maybe if I spin the camera at a better angle? No. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see his little peats. I'm gonna run behind oh, this no. wall. Everything. And the door is in the way, I can't hit him. This is okay. stupid. And her turn. Oh, there we go. Gail's turn has already ended, it looks like. Yeah, it's still... Path is interrupted. Well, how come his path isn't interrupted? Stupid game. Bike bulb. Oh, hey. There we go. The door closed. Oh. Hmm. Why does the door close? I don't know. Well, it gives you a chance to heal. 
Yep. They're, They're shooting at the door, door now. Okay, then. Um, I can reopen the door. If we can get them... Uh, hmm. Oh, they used a mage hand on the door is what it was. Oh. So, knowing that, I have mage hand on Saris. Um, she can use that to open a door. We can launch a volley, and then somebody else can run up and close it. We could do this with okay. like cannon fire. That's really fun. I'm just like thinking of weird tactical things that we could do as a group. Uh, for mm -hmm. now, probably just gonna like, yeah, link yourself to a target with a bolt of lightning. Deal an additional one to twelve damage for each turn by activating it. So this is an ideal one to use on the barbarian uh, once he's in range. Well, they're bleeding in there right now. Okay. Can only be cast outside of combat. Flee combat. You can flee combat and go to camp if you're far enough from your enemies. So that's interesting. Firebolt's a cantrip. I didn't realize that. Okay, so a lot of these are actually cantrips. Ray of Frost is as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, for now, I'm going to have him try to run across here since the door is still closed. And mm -hmm. get him on the other side here so that we're not having all crossfire going one way. So, would you want me to keep the door closed for now? Yeah, uh, take a second to, like, put yourself in whatever optimal location. Lost condition bleeding was hit for slashing. They're attacking each other. No, uh, he got, he got bleeding through my, um... Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Thank you. There we go. Time to push my luck again. And then I can... Get in position to open the door. Um, can, oh, I didn't cast Find Familiar before the fight. Damn. Ooh, can you do it while in here? No. No, I. we're still in a fight right now, technically. Okay, I have a big idea. Okay. Gail is going to stay there because it's his turn. <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never what? mind. I tripped. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that worked. Uh, let's see. I was like, I'm going to go open the door, use this void bulb that I have, and it pulls enemies and objects in to where I throw it. And then Gale is going to do a big electric attack. <laughs> and it just tipped in half. So I'm going to actually get Gale up next to the door to use that arcane blast, the thunder wave. Mm-hmm. Uh, dash help. Okay, slip my own crease. Hide from enemies by succeeding stealth checks. Stick to the dark and avoid enemy sight lines. Let's turn that out. Bonus actions. You're at full health already. Cantrips. Those aren't cantrips. Oh, those are spell slot one. Got it. Okay. Hopple. Swipe at a creature to knock it prone. I didn't know he had that ability. Mm. Leap. It's because he's using the staff. Oh. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to actually have the him. The weapon in his you're turn. using gives you different abilities. Yeah, they are they are not breaking down that door. No, we're we're safe for now. Okay. You can end do... rage on self. Hasted no longer has rage. The barbarian does not have advantage to all attacks. Zooms back into the room and shakes dog bass water on everything. Welcome back, Bucky. <laughs> 
perform the power. Oh, wait, did you just activate vampire power? No, I uh, am doing bard things. <laughs> bard things. Blade Ward. Oh, okay, that, that's a cast on self thing. Um, against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. That includes arrows, so that's help helpful still. So what does Bardic Inspiration do? Uh, advantage for others, I believe. Oh, it is. Okay, it's a plus 1d6. Okay. So, hold up. Uh, ice... Okay, so opening the door counted as an, a move. Yeah. Can you use ice on not enough movement? Not enough movement. Okay, fine. I'll specify it. I know that there's enough movement, you fool. You just have to get an angle on him. Yeah, I just didn't want to put myself in such an exposed spot. Yeah. Okay, one is prone. Do I still have enough? Oh, I still have enough to run further. So go over here. Jump. Yeah. No. Cancel. Okay. Enter. Stands back up, but lost advantage. Ooh. Yikes. There's the fire. Managed to step, like, barely far enough out of the way. Uh, I'll still hit you. <laughs> I know. What I mean is, like, we're right on the edge on both sides. Oh. Uh... I ain't gonna work here. And walking through is suicide. Can you get the angle on that archer? On Mari? Uh, I wouldn't walk through that grease. Because that yeah. would also be suicide. <laughs> I'm curious. This wall is protecting them. Protecting everyone. Pearl moat of fire. Everybody is too far away from that barrel for it to matter. I suppose Ray of Frost then. Why is. Okay, uh. This still requires refocusing location. Yeah, just fire from here. Only a 65% chance to strike is a little rough. Mm-hmm. Knight to King 5. It's cute. Enter. <laughs> Backstab. I don't like this. Uh, I need to remember to turn around. What? What? Did he just throw his axe at you? I guess so. Uh, are we just going for the kill on this guy? It's right at the door. Yeah. Stack everything on him, I guess. Would be the easiest, because he's the biggest threat. It's a 45% chance. I'd rather have a... 45% chance. 55% chance. Uh, I guess we'll just do that then. Oi, oi, oi. You're going next. Thank you. Ouch! I 
Um, I move here. Good idea. A little bit more. That should be all three. Yep, that's all three. Um, click to confirm. Now, how do I... Pearl Flame. That did not do as much as it should have, but okay. I gotta get out of this fire. Take a walk over here. Turn back around. That's something I really need to remember to do. And turn. I can't believe you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Barbarian. Like... We had the Bardic Inspiration on the defense, so I think we should be fine. Did a decent amount of damage. Wait. Uh, oh, can you pull the lever? Or no? Well, let's see if I have enough. Not enough resources. Action. Oh no. Well, shove him now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh really? Well. Oh okay. Everybody snack, stack up. Whoa! We've saved me. I cannot take much more. Okay. Um, I got this. Never mind. All right. Um, what can I do? Healing potion. And then end turn. Good timing for that healing potion. Okay. I'm dazed. Well, well. Now it's just us in here. And Kefri is also in here. Or Sephri. Yeah. Okay, first of all, heal Gale. Not sure if the heal will be enough. However, we hope. Well, Gale will have his turn because Barton can't hit anybody. We just have to deal enough damage to these two that are in here. Yeah. That's on the sturdy ass door, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> It was designed for this. Oh, we're on Gale. Good. Uh, we can do Thunder Wave again. Up to 11 damage. 11. Yeah, Thunder Wave is our best, best choice on With that then. Constitution saving throw. Let's Yo! go. Okay, so there's Hasid dead, and he was our main problem. And now Kefri's got her turn. I'd so say just move away just in case she has yeah. an AoE. <laughs> Yeah. I can't do facing drink a potion. Oh, yeah. Oh, you she's tried. going. Oh, burning oh, hand. My. Okay. Death saving throw failed. Alrighty. Um. You got that? Okay. Yeah. All right then, Caffrey. Let's see what I can do. Not enough movement, dazed. What do you mean? Just stood up, most likely. Oh, I'm no, I'm just really just out of range. That's so stupid. All right, I'll end turn here then. One. Uh, one. Okay, I'll get his turn, and then we can heal up before we open the next. 
Fireball. Are you kidding oh me? Oh my god. Oh, okay, we're good. How do I get my heal spell back? Uh, we have to rest. We have to do a long rest. Okay. Um... Oh, and he just got up, so he can't do anything. I can do a Bardic Inspiration, though. That works. I already had that. <laughs> oh. I hadn't, I hadn't used it yet. Uh, it... I'm pretty sure it used it when you went to nope. defend yourself. You, you like have it to automatically click on it. uses it. To your next ability check... Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, it, it automatically used it for mine when I got okay. shot with an arrow. So, so I need to heal myself. Because this you doesn't cost the health potion. By the way. Oh, simple robe, quarter staff, take it all. Do I already have boots and gloves? I do. Alright. And turn. Also. Journey to the jungle. Oh, I'm gonna have some some fun reading these. All right. Okay. Indeed. Walk him over here. Action requires a spell slot. Has used his two spell slots for the day. We're gonna use another health potion then, because unfortunately <laughs> that's our only freaking option. Uh, we could walk away, do a long rest, and come back because, like, the door's closed and they're just back there, and the bodies are out here. I I'm fine with that. You want to do that? Yeah, I mean, sure. It seems like the freest way to get all of our health and stuff back and come back with full fresh spells. Not but only that, we could summon your oh yeah. Conjure. Yeah. So just use dash and get the heck out of here. Whoa, well, wrong way. Damn it. I tried to open the door just now because I'm a fool. <laughs> oh, glad I caught that. Time to press ahead. Jeez. Where is Dash? Ah. Oh. <laughs> They're still <laughs> shooting at that fucking door. <laughs> Let's light them up. <laughs> Don't knock it down at some point. Where is he going? Climb out the hole to attack us. Can't slow down. Alright, now you gotta get Gale out. Yep. Okay. End the day. Your replenishable resources are dwindling. Take a long rest to restore hit points and other resources. Long rest. You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots if you long rest. Yes. Where? Wait. What? 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 Huh? Who are these people? I guess we are at the camp. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Everybody has different outfits. To do. Oh. Interesting. What to do indeed. Okay. All right, so in this case, we Let's can... I'm not here to chit -chat. Whoa, empty blood play. bank jar. Picked up... <laughs> I just took a Starian's blood jar. 
damn it. <laughs> 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 okay, uh... Who's this? Seems like a good oh, Lazelle! A monster forms inside us. And you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be... I love how you still have the fucking bardic inspiration. <laughs> your rest. We must locate a crash. Okay... Uh, we need to pace ourselves. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Wait, where do you take the long rest? Uh, I think I have to click it as party okay. leader. Because I was in a conversation with Lizelle. Okay. I found some torches. There's a table, I'm assuming it's for crafting. A stone bed. I found stone's bed. A storage box with silver and ingot. Silver and gold. With my little eye. Nothing of note. Nothing of note, really. I probably shouldn't have done that. The camp is so weird. Wait, what's this? Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. This map of the Sword Coast sprawls from the deep forest of Tathir to the frigid spine, frigid spine of the world. Its topography worn by ancient ink and constant trade between mortal hands. More books. I'm finding loot in the camp. <laughs> Traveler's chest. Peculiar clothing chest. This chest bears the faint likeness of six noble figures from a far off near mythical land. Six noble figures. T W I T C H. I get it. Mask of the Shapeshifter. Alright, take all. I'm curious. Bewildering Adventurer's Pack. The lip of the pack is stitched with the likeness of a helmeted warrior, their eyes sheltered. Something protrudes from the helm, like a strange floppy arrow. Mm -hmm. Needle of the Outlaw Rogue, Bicorn of the Sea Beast, Loot of the Merryweather Bard, Heap of the Red Prince. Bewildering Adventurer's Pack. Potion of Flying, Potion of Animal Speaking, Sun Dappled Paella, Freight, Haggis, Putan, Stout Stew, Mixed Coffee, Potion of Featherfall, Potion of Mind Reading, Elixir of Hill Giant Strengths, Holy Cow. Some wild potions. Mask of the Shapeshifter. Shapeshift, level 1 illusion spell. The magic of this mask comes from its gory providence and makes it perfect for discerning actors, sleuths, or person with a mirror and time to kill. Equip. Close that. Uh, 
I'm so confused by like the various chests and stuff. Well, it's just like storage. We can use the traveler's chest as a place to keep our stuff. Mask of the shapeshifter. No, the traveler's chest appears to be uh, how Twitch delivers things to you. Oh. <laughs> There's also a send to camp option for a lot of these. Did you get this mask of the shapeshifter? I did get one. I'm currently wearing one. Okay. So I can just... So then all this stuff was mine, then. Send a bunch of these to camp. Yeah. Illicit manuscript. I'm just going to start collecting these. Oh, my. Hmm? Should we use this stuff or no? What? Like all the stuff that the Twitch stuff gave us? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm putting things back into the Traveler's Chest, it says, by doing the right-click send to camp. So that's useful. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a storage. I don't know, like, how you want to be with the um, free items, if you want to use them or not. Food items? No, the free items. I don't know what they are. Um, it gives you the um, Needle of the Outlaw Rogue, which is a 4 to 7. Um, oh, we each got our own. Right here. Yeah, I got one as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it gives you all of the food, like the camp supplies. It gives you the little pirate hat, a loot, and the cape. Have a good night, Bucky. And it gives you these uh, potions. Yeah, I, good night, Bucky. I, I got all those, too. Like, we each got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, do you want to use them or no? It automatically adds them to the, the camp when you pick them up, is my understanding. Oh, maybe not. They're just sitting They're there. They're on here. Yeah. Oh, weird. I don't know. I'm putting them back in the camp thing. I, <laughs> I will use them when we need them. My understanding was the uh, we had enough camp supplies to be able to do the long rest in the first place. Like, I'm not going to want to hold on to all these extra potions and stuff. Well, uh, hmm. All right, I'm going to hold on to the paella and coffee in hand. I'm not going to be using the bicorn. Uh, I got the loot for this guy, though. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I was trying to figure out how the fuck to drag around the um, uh, menus. If you're in the chest, you click on the like traveler's chest at the top of the um, thing to drag it around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can have both open at once. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. That's useful. That's way easier than right-clicking. I can just drag these over. Uh, do I... Is there an auto-sort? Whoa, that robe is that robe. That cape is cool. <laughs> I mean, it's just the cape you can wear. I, I am. I'm wearing mine. I feel bad that I stole his blood bank jar. <laughs> You're not gonna give it back? There's no way to. It was just an object that existed on a table. Oh, I love that. I'm pretty sure you can place it. Wait, what? How? Uh, know. is there a way to click and drag out of your inventory? So, let's say I want to put a book down. Okay. Didn't expect that. 
And we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. And the bitch queen stays the storm. <laughs> I don't know how it's supposed to go. Pick up. Actual Busta, please. That was a jam. <laughs> Hello? How's it going? Would you like to go to bed? Yes. Another player is currently oh, no, choosing no, no, no. camp supplies for a long rest. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We can use the supply pack that we have and it's just a full long rest. Or we oh, could no. like add up all of the foods to get the 40 that we need. Okay, that makes sense. There is an auto select option though. I love my fruit roll up hair. <laughs> oh. I'm wearing my cape and I have a scimitar because I'm awesome. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. Understood. So, how do we leave the camp? Uh, short rest, long rest, leave, hey, leave camp. camp. There we go. Chapel entrance. Uh, time to go tear things up. <laughs> Rego through the door. <laughs> oh, wait. Before anything else, uh, find familiar. Summon. Spider. You gotta get Gail in here, too. Okay. Gail's like, I ain't going in there. I know what happened last time. Alright, there's just blood everywhere. Wait. No one back home will ever believe this. Are we just rushing in? How are we doing this? Um uh, I'll keep Astroth over there. Astroth. You're <laughs> I'll What's be in up? the corner because he's our bard. Are you looting? <laughs> Steal the chair. <laughs> I can examine the chair while I sit upon it. Pick up yeah, we got to wear from that, so it's good. Might be useful. <laughs> I can you can pick up the candle and throw it as a weapon. <laughs> Plus 1d4, d4 burning damage per round, or 1d4 burning damage per d4 round. <laughs> Give me the milk can. Uh, where's all the bookshelves? I found books last time. Yeah. We should save. <laughs> we should definitely save. Ancient, indecipherable text. He said. Do you want a chair? Yeah. Here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my way. <laughs> Damn chair. Okay, new save. Refectory. Oh, I can pick up the wooden crate. Pick up. Save successful. So what if we just like created an uh, our own barricade? <laughs> well, it, it breaks when you throw it. At the ready. I put you gale over here. Okay. That's a javelin. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's what Hasid fucking threw at me. He oh, threw a javelin. javelin. Dang. Oh my. Okay, are we ready? Uh, mage armor. Cast any of your, like, Kree battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking, I went. Uh, I, protection I from evil and good. Alright, um, Blade Ward. Okay. Clicked. Um, Which way is the nearest 
And all right. Okay. Lens battle. Your turn. There's only two of them in there. The third one's behind the barrel. Oh yeah, way over there. Yep. So let's see. Range attack. Try me. Oil barrel. Um, potion of flying, potion of feather fall, gold key, potion of speed, simple toxin, animal speaking, caustic bulb, void bulb. Not enough resources. Understood. Um, jump behind the wall. Holy shit! Okay. Very nice. Okay, so opening the door counted as my fucking action again. God damn it. Uh. Nice. Ah, oh, they got out of there. I damn it. It took too long. Yeah. Starion, damn. Yeah, I probably should have moved him. I messed up. How wide is that? It's that wide. Mm. We know Mari will die. Because the frightened makes some higher chance to get hit. And she mm -hmm. only has three health left. Watch out for the grease. Speaking of. Ooh, nice. So if they move, they are slipping and falling. Mm -hmm. And turn around and turn. Huh. He is not slipping and falling. Get in there, spider. Not enough movement. <laughs> Scamp. Oh. <laughs> oh, it fell. <laughs> Poor thing. Perfection. Oh, oh the that grease works. can be lit. Okay. Which means that the people in the front here have a problem and torches are very useful tools. Okay. So I'm going to run into here then. Who's... Korga's burning and down... Piercing strike. Nope, not piercing strike. It's hamstring. Saved versus hamstring. Well, I slipped the gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And over here. And they should be dead. Spider, just stay out of the fight. You're not gonna send the little guy in? No, it'll burst into flame the second it hits the ground. <laughs> okay. Really? Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Surely. There hey. we go. Oh, that's everybody. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. Togo, we got a dagger, a short bow. Cannot control knockdown. More thieves' tools. Draw, draw poison. Oh, you yonked it. 
You yonked it. I was like, what is this cool glowy item? <laughs> you know what? You got, you got a door closed in your face. <laughs> Stay in there. You know what? I'm going to throw a cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> For four bludgeoning damage. Man, a stack of books. What's that? Oh. I cannot wait to sit down and just read all these books in the camp. It's so silly how, how excited I am for that. Oh, hey, you know what we should do? Hmm. Save the game. True, true. That went really well. Yeah, it did. I didn't expect us to be able to do that <laughs> fight. I huh, just took some tactics. Worth it. Even after everything. Oh, okay. Be cursed. Ra uh, better not be cursed. What? What did you find? I'll take that. Uh, a mirror. Oh. Okay. Granite bench. No handle. Lock picking impossible. Okay, can't shoot it. Wait, I wonder. I wonder. Wait, what? Can I... Burn the door down. Oh. I cannot. What about this door? I'm going to sneak. Ooh, ancient scrolls. Uh, read. Through a bloom of mold, as though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of the scroll, its beginning is still legible. The sealing ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the sealing, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. I'll take that. Uh, Good. Sandy? Yeah? You'll like this next room. I'll like this next room? Mm-hmm. What did you, what did you, what did you find? Hold on, I gotta get a screen cap of this. Oh, what? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Gaming. Gamers. What the heck did, what the heck? Oh, my other character would be so happy right now. The ranger is just like, <laughs> mm, books, I'm gonna sell these. I sit. I had to roll a perception check. Well, I didn't roll it, it just automatically did it. But there oh. was a lever at the end of the uh, room, and my character oh. found it with a perception check. found a titled book here, and it's it's a book book. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts. But no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air coming and going. And still the goddess did not come for her devotee. Caleb Moore pitied her, as much as the Lord of the Dead is able, but could not intervene. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn. That not of forgetting, but of being forgotten. My book now. More books. More the books. book thief. There's so many books. Books are worth so much money. 
Like, they aren't in the world of D&D for reasons unknown to me. You got an ink pot and quill. Now you can write your own book. <laughs> Chapel records. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grovian Tipple, Ilmater, Drowning, Evane Arkinson, Ogma, Infernal Rot, Devon Stout, Saloon, Fever. What? Did, what was that? There's a little skull here. That's when you, uh... You try to press the dash ability. Yeah, that was the lever that I, uh... It told me to press, but I didn't press because I was just like... I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I didn't even think. I just pressed it. <laughs> I'm grabbing the chapel records. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize we could... Yonk. They're mine now. So this is certainly a visual. What is this... Whoa. I what think opened? we just found... Oh, yeah, this door. I think we found the Assassin's Brotherhood. The Creed? <laughs> the Dark Brotherhood. Candles received condition burning. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> dank crypt. Yo, it is dank in here. Explore. Oh, I was like, is it gonna drag me in with you? And then it just didn't. I'm gonna get Astroth over here. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, his name is Astorian. I've been calling him the wrong fucking name this yeah, entire time. Yes, you have. It's been making me giggle. <laughs> they <laughs> failed, <slipped Greece>. Greece. An opulent chest. Scroll of protection from evil and good. I have that ability built into my character. Oh. Well, looks like I'm not cool then. <laughs> Pick up. Uh, I'm encumbered. I'm also going to... You're encumbered? Mm-hmm. Because I picked up the chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Saving game. With you encumbered. Um, um I'll I'm, just give Astarian the chest. Problem solved. <laughs> I am going to go on a short break. Uh, do you want to keep going? Because we're at about the four hour mark here, and I'm fine with continuing the game, but I will have to at least go use the restroom and all that. Yeah, I'm going to uh, take a break. Uh, my dad said he brought home uh, Chinese food, so we're good. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I'll be back in about five minutes then, and uh, we'll we'll continue this little story. This has been interesting. Let's All righty. Uh, be right back. Text. Oh. oh wait, wrong button. I'm hitting the wrong button. Oops. Wow. Yeah. Higher, higher, doggo. Only receive three hours sleep, doggo. I will be back. <laughs> See you, folks, in a moment. Oh, hey, let me turn on the music this time instead of just walking off. <laughs> Can't believe I did that earlier. That was terrible. There you go. We're going to change this up to different. Yeah, jazzy. <laughs> there we go. See you all in a second. Jazz. All right. I'll be back.
Alrighty, I'm back. However, I'm going to mute what I eat, so you cannot hear me.
Uh, all right, so I'm actually boiling some water to make myself some tea and a little bit of soup. It's getting real cold over here. <sighs> so my apologies for the extra delay, but I do appreciate everybody being patient. Also, I love the happy emote. This is so cute. It does work for this music so well. This is actually one of my favorite tracks on this uh, this little playlist, too. It's so out of place. Also, I have quite a few notifications I wasn't aware I had received. like most of that stuff I can at least come back to after the show. Alright, I'll be right back with you folks. I need to go check on my pot of boiling water.
All right, Stone. Welcome to my stream where we talk about food. Uh, what kind of Chinese food? Um, I got lo mein, rice, and uh, spring roll. Hell yeah. I totally didn't realize my mic was muted earlier, and I tried talking to you. Oh, that happens. <laughs> I figured you were just away to get food. Uh, I have leftover hot pot stuff from last night. So, on mm -hmm. Miso beef stock with. Yeah, I ended up sorting all of our inventories so our oh, thank you. encumbrance isn't as much. Yeah. And all of our stuff is like in oh storage God. stuff. Like all say, of the clothing. Isn't there a way for us to do like. Huh. So if I put. If I put the reliquary down, that... Okay, right-click. Pick up and add to wares? And if I do send to camp... Oh, wares is stuff you're going to sell. Oh, remove from wares. Yeah. Okay. So it'll pop up with that little gold square on it. That gold... Or, it's not gold, but... The silver square means that you're going to sell it. Okay. But that's like what the gold is shaped as for this game. It's little gold square things. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that the currency of Faerun is a square instead of a like round coin. I guess it's easier to cut it from ingots that way. So if you're using machinery... Well, no, it's about. not even like a square. It has like the oh, sides cut out too. Oh. It's like an hourglass shape. Look at the top right of your um, inventory. Oh yeah, you're right. It's like clipped off the sides. Use it to buy equipment and bribe other characters. I love how specific that is. <laughs> okay. Back to spooky ambiance. Whoa. Whoa. When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience and receive inspiration. Inspiration may be spent to re-roll an ability check. You can have a maximum of four inspiration. If you're at your maximum inspiration, completing background goals only grants experience. Huh. I have no idea what any of that is actually used for. Oh. Sandy. Hmm? If you go to the character sheet of our companions, you can see uh, they're standing towards us. So if you do um, the big inventory... Oh, no, it says it at the bottom right there. Uh, the, the first tab. The first tab at the bottom. If it's also right here. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. I was trying to di direct you. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Gail kind of hates you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of stuck my fingers mind. in his brain. <laughs> they both like... Let's see here. Examine a starring. Neutral. Zero. They really don't like me. They don't mind you, but they don't like me. I'm sure if we just talk to them at the camp, they'll be happy. I did steal his blood jar. Yeah. I didn't mean S to. SMH. You were like, okay. Yonk, that's mine. We all have really high decks. Mm -hmm. Our lowest is a 13, and it's on a wizard. Good. <laughs> Everybody else has the max 17. This is all just a bunch of copies of leather armor. I'm going to send all this to the camp. Because that's, okay. that's half my weight all at once. Yeah. 
I honestly didn't know we, that we could just do that. Mm -hmm. Suck, yeah. Feel free. Who else do we want to, like... Gail is carrying a thing of house supplies. I think it's the <laughs> 22. Um... Okay, so there's like some weapon stuff. We'll move the one that's like pens and quills. Let's open this. And yeah, that's random house supplies, so send that to camp too. That drastically reduces. What's, what's in the wooden trunk? Oh, gemstones. Nice. I like the way you store things. <laughs> Cool. No one stopped me yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the way she's she's uh responding to the cursor. <laughs> I love this little peephole through this door. It's like it's at eye level. This door is massive, and there's this little little hole to so yell <laughs> people through. Oh, there's another chest over here. Do we want the damaged vi vase? Uh, sure. Well, are, we're taking vases and jugs now, too. I'm oh, taking okay. the other chest as well. That's that's mine now. Yonk. I'm Are you throwing vases? <laughs> <laughs> no rupees came out, damn. Is there any levers? Alright, we got two giant doors. Both have the Assassin's Guild thing going on. Yes. At least things have stayed interesting. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. <laughs> What's in here? Looks like another empty room. Looks like a tomb. I'm going in. Alright. One day I'll catch a break. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> like I said, not very wise. <laughs> uh throw your target is too far. Oh, okay. Perception failed. There's vents everywhere. There's a button over here. Somehow I'm concerned. The Perception failed again? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. Sarcophagus. A peridot ring, a studded shield, a soul coin. These coins can power infernal engines. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. Indeed. A warhammer, a skull, and a bone. Step carefully. Gargoyle heads. Okay. A lot of traps. Very much so. Do you see button? I want to press button. You want to press button? Let's get the rest of the party out of the room while you press button, then. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Gale, uh, go over there. Uh, Astarian, go... Well, I guess Astarian also has thief skills. <laughs> Close the <this> door! <laughs> Is a wish, please! I press button. Uh nothing happened. I didn't die. Seek and you shall find me. How much farther can I go? What's inside? How do I get Astarian to follow me? 
Uh, I do not know. Uh, group. That might be it. Oh! Okay. Can I... Hold on. Ungroup. Yep, they're no longer linked. Okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to reorder them, though. There we go. I have a shield now. Oh, hell yeah. Would you like a Warhammer? Uh, as my characters are both rogues, I don't think I'll be using a Warhammer anytime soon. Okay. Hmm. I may as well... Well, let's see. What's the attack speed? 1.35 to 2.7. Oof. Yeah. I'll just hold off and stick with the short sword. Short sword with scimitar and... Uh, Small shield. Seems like a decent combo. Locked. Well, that sounds like a job for the rogue. <laughs> I love a star. You're just kind of like looking around like, hmm. Easy peasy. 15, get out of here. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, you just went right through. Okay. Oh. oh. That's what hey. that door was. <laughs> some some things happened. Oh, that door. Okay. Hmm. Now I wonder how the fight would have gone if we went this way. Yeah. Also, that's really funny that that was that like ninety five percent difficulty. And you just finally opened it from the other direction. There were both 15s to get the door open. Oh. <laughs> both sides. I thought you needed a 20. No. This one's locked. Which is probably because I'm a rogue and you're not. Mm. I can lockpick this. I need a 10 and we have a plus 7. So there it is. Plus fucking... <laughs> I got a 23. <laughs> Throws a face at the door. <laughs> In we go. Whoa. More bodies. Entombed scribe. I'm gonna save. Seems like a smart thing to do between each of the rooms. Oh. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. Armed scribes. Ooh, a chest. Roll of burning hands and a quarter staff. Ooh. Jug. Face. There's like a cave system out here. So. Are we treating it like how we would in D and D, where we, if we fail the perception check to see if there's a trap, we act as if we didn't even know that there was a perception check? Oh, you want to do RP on that? I'm down with it. I don't, I don't know if you want to do RP. I'm down. It's just like I'm, I'm we could not. add that aspect to it. Scribe of the dead. Jurgle, the scribe of the dead. Oh, wow. That is a really sick-looking statue. Love that. Also, oh, I appreciate it? that Gail knew who that was. Like, Oh, I have a heavy key. Hey, Gail. Look, it's Yankee joining our company. I now have a heavy right, key, so suspect. if you see something that is locked, one, I have a okay. key. Oh. Um... um I'm going to talk with Gail here for a sec. Try and improve things. <laughs> Never mind. My options are I need you to remain in camp or leave. <laughs> well, you tried. That's what matters. He was having none of it. 
Oh. Did you see over here? This uh, whole opening in the wall? The, uh, let me, let me look. Hold yes, everything? I'm okay. very curious about that. I didn't want to run off just yet, because I wanted to see. This feels like there should be a door here or something. Oh, there is. It's on the other side. There's a button. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Very ominous button, but a button nonetheless. Oh, there's another chest up here. Some chest failed. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh. 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 Well, commence battle. Hmm. What's in this chest? Nothing. Okay. So where's... Okay, that's you. Entombed Scribe is over here. Why is it so hard to see? Okay, we're gonna... Why can't 90%. I bardic inspiration? So I just nearly one-shotted the scribe. That feels good. Just gonna run down here. Can I hit him as well? I can, but it's... Oh, the wall. Damn. You can also retreat into here. Did that miss? All right. May the dice roll in my favor. Um. Love a character that says things out loud about the game. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad that guy missed. Uh oh. Tombed warrior. Okay. Not enough movement, but I can smack this. Immune nice. to poison damage. Well, that's. It is a skeleton. That it is does a make sense. Issue. Oh, jeez, you're Very way over brilliant. there. I'm glad that he is way over there. Very glad that he is way over there. Okay, so some of these guys actually only have 10 health, which is really nice. Yeah, the scribes, but they also have really high... Yeah! <sighs> they have Ray of Frost. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't work. Here we go again. Take out that. Run over here. Hit this guy. Flourish. Run over here. And turn. Critical hit. Very nice. And scribe. A scribe. Wait, how much health does this guy have? Your spider can finish off the warrior. Good. That'll work. Not enough movement. Not enough movement. You say that, but you haven't tried to move yet. I was gonna say, bud, you're, you've got plenty. Wait, is that seriously a 95? Definitely having some funkiness there, because I saw it measure, and then it didn't. Mm. Alright. Just end turn. We're all going to get blasted anyways. Spider. Well. You tried, and that's what matters. Arachna jump. <laughs> Jump up, down, and across. Your strength affects how far you can jump. I don't even know what that does. 
It's just a regular jump. For arachnids. Exactly. Oh, Gale's getting fucking sauced. Actually, no, that was your spider that took that one. Oh, Youch, you took that one. Oh, wow. Yo, you have high ground advantage as well? Shabam! Get oh, the nice. fuck out of here. Oh, but I can't hit that guy now. Hmm. This is awkward. Where's my loot? Why can't I play loot? Why can't I play the violin? Oh, once per long rest, that's why. Okay. Don't get too close. Which one of these guys is close to dead? You. Nice shot. Heck yeah. Ugh. Yeah, ouch. Nice. So I'm curious. Can we reloot them? Yep. Turns out we can. <laughs> That's amazing. I will not say no to a pretty penny. Five more gold. There's another one here. Guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Let's see. Speak with dead. Is in a language unknown to you. I don't have that spell. It's on a amulet. Oh, that's an amazing amulet. That's like a gem of true seeing. Do you want it? Uh it's in the chest. Sure. I, I already have an amulet, but my amulet totally doesn't do anything. That. Yeah, I think I was just wearing like a fancy tooth necklace before. Oh yeah, you had a bronze necklace. Hmm. Exploding your eyes. Well, this seems like an idea. I'm sure we'll be fine. Hey there, bud. Sorry to disturb your sleep. Mom said the pizza's ready. Yep. About 400 years ago. So <laughs> he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. Who? What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? The question's for thee. I'm a... Quite the question. What is the reason for it? Curiosity. Mm. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Oh. That's a lot of good answers. That's a lot of really good answers. Oh, hold on. 
there's a scroll bar. Oh, never mind. I was like, damn. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what is there? Fucking 15 answers? And then it's just like, oh, nope. Each life is of infinite value, merit sacrificing everything for. Life's only value is its currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. The only depends. life that matters is mine. Yeah, I know that's yours. <laughs> that depends on a person's deeds. No, she's a ranger, so it has to be four. And thus, balance is achieved. If all are at war, none can win. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. And a good eve to you as well. He just, he just walks away. He just walks away? Uh, hey, yeah. boy, no, I'm gonna go talk to you. I'm gonna go chase you down and talk is. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. To discuss. Oh, okay. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. <laughs> sure. I, must attend I don't know, bud. So As if I were not here. <laughs> you did totally just kind of crawl out of a box. Like... <laughs> Kind of hard to ignore he this. Totally didn't resurrect after years of being dead. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just I wasn't here. Don't worry about it. You didn't open that box. <laughs> you seem very certain of that. Wow. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Hmm. Regardless. It will occur. He kind of looks like the dad from that 70s show. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> so what, do we just like dip? Like, he also only has one health. He had 168 <laughs> gold inside his reliquary. I just took it. Ooh. I kind of feel bad. Back for that. Yeah. So that's like almost enough to get some plate armor. It's enough to start multiple businesses in some uh, kingdoms. Whoa, what'd you find here? You just is he just opening doors? You just you just came over and and opened doors. Should we just follow him around as he does this? I just found ring mail. I crit failed the fucking lock pick. <laughs> Have the other guy do it. I, no, it. Oh, it's let's a, do it more than once. Um, yeah. Okay, where did he just go? As long as you have thieves' tools. Did he just take off into the valley? Oh, Santa? Okay, I found him. I found him. His name is Withers. Mm -hmm. His name is Withers. I'll pick this up and bring it to you. Oh, I'm sorry. You good? I was trying to follow him in case he opened anything else. Did you loot everything in here? I opened a chest and got a silver band. I didn't check okay. all the jugs though. What did she say? Seems simple enough. Just have a few. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Yeah, I got a frickin' uh no, we can pick up the heavy chest. Yeah, we have enough storage stuff. Buggy. So I picked up ring mail. Do you want it, or do you want me to take it, since I'm a fighter subclass? I'm... If you want it, you can have it. You tend to get into things' faces more? I'm at range, that's why I'm asking. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I I will I will take it. I mm -hmm. I will indeed take it. There you go. There's Alrighty. also a battle axe. Ooh, not proficient in this armor type. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll take it then. Well, you're probably also not proficient in it. I'm a ranger. I should be. Let's find out. Well, right click equip. Not proficient. Well, you're right. All right. Oh, here's that. Uh oh. So I got. Uh oh. These two. What happened? The game has encountered an unrecoverable DirectX error and will be shut down. This error may be triggered by reasons that are not related to Baldur's Gate 3. Please disable the following before restarting. We just lost our game. Yeah. No. Uh, all right. Dang. Well? Hmm. Do you want to continue? Yeah. All right. Boot this back up. I can't believe we put six hours into this already. Yeah, it's fun. I'm having a freaking blast. <laughs> Where did my phone just go? I had it. Yeah, this is an opportunity to check messages while it's still loading. Oh, it's next to my Chinese food, that's why. <laughs> I'm eating broccoli, and it's delicious. Just straight up broccoli? Well, it's been sitting in my soup. Ah. I may have started this wrong. Not sure. We'll find out. Yep, that just started a new game. Okay. Is there like a load session option? Uh, don't reset. Load game. Dank crypt. Load saved game. I think I have to invite you into multiplayer from there. That's what it is. Have a good one, Nyan Gosling. It's good to see you, hon. Oh, it's Doc Spin. I thought it was Doc Leave. <laughs> All the music just goes right away. Great. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Wow, this is taking a second to load. Okay, there we go. Mm. Okay, session. Oh no! How far? But did we not? We haven't done the fight yet, have we? No. All right. At least we can, can loot them all now, and then reloot them again. Hmm. You get the joy of looting everything. <laughs> I'm so full of joy. How do we plant, like, small incendiary potions on each of these skeletons? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. I have gremlin ideas. Gremlin idea? 
Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh. Well, uh... This is fine. Yeah, it is. I just... I tried to pick up the skeleton. <laughs> You tried picking them up. <laughs> I was gonna throw it out the door. <laughs> I won't give in. Oh my god, <laughs> Miss. Yeah, I, I kind of messed this one up. Sorry. You're good. We'll be fine. Oh, uh-oh. Well? Wow. He just got splatted. Critical hit, one damage. <laughs> just fucking punching us. Oh, I'm using a shield so I don't have this, the offhand attack anymore. Oh, yeah. One day I'll catch a break. Nice. Good shot. Yeah, ouch. Uh. All right. All right, spider, you can do it. Oh. A spider's only doing one damage at a time. It just—it's meant for fighting also, fleshy things. It's also only taking one damage at a time. True. Um. Bonk. Hmm. All right. No traps, please. That was rough. It was for you. Short rest. Ah, uh -huh. I was like, what the fuck just healed us? It felt like an appropriate time to do it. Yeah, that's fair. Have to keep going. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Equip. Take all. All right, let's go talk to this guy. I'm going to skip these since we already know what we're going to say. I'm just going to do it in the same order. 
Quite the question. Yes, ask away. I ask again. What is the and thus there we we will Hold on. I ain't done with you. We have nothing. I must attend this place after so many years. The mechanics of regard. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> he has different things in his uh thing. In what? In the, oh. in the sarcophagus. There's different okay. stuff in there. Oh, whoa. Oil of accuracy and elixir of arcane cultivation. That is new. In fact, it's better. <laughs> yeah. I wonder I what that means for the armor over here. Book of Dead Gods. Read. I'm going to read that. I yonked the ring. It's mine now. Far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Okay. Search for an arcane rune to sabotage. Ooh, 15. Oof. Terrible. Did you try to lock it? I'm too unintelligent to arcana this book open. Well, I already oh, opened again. it. Oh. Well, I opened it anyway. <laughs> I used my bardic inspiration and still fail. <laughs> it is now open. Oh, okay. Wow. And you can pick it up as well. I'm still holding it in my hand and staring at it confused. Mm -hmm. The tome does not take kindly to your tampering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin, pricking and prodding. Okay. I'm smashing the lock open on this book. It's already opened. Nope, nope. Now it's open. <laughs> As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. Ooh. This is pretty. Do you see me moving stuff? <laughs> Sandy, do you see me moving stuff? No, I'm, I'm watching a cutscene. What? what? There's a cutscene. About a book? Yeah, I smashed the lock on it. <laughs> I already saw it take two with the <laughs> What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense there are names, a list, but of what? Religion. Example. Examine the book more closely. All right. Okay. <laughs> Success. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. Whoa. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn. Silently recorded by this book. Save failed investigation. Secrets of the sundering. So did you read the Book of the Dead Gods? No. I left it for you to read. Huh. I guess... Pick up. That's so weird. Yeah, what were you moving oh. around? Oh, uh, look, look. Oh! <laughs> you can How click and drag that? stuff. What? You can say where to put it. Oh, that's so weird. So, I can, <laughs> I can actually barricade part of a room? <laughs> okay, I found the ring mail again. <laughs> Just nothing to block us. What a what a strange place. <laughs> Yeah, I bet they are. Uh, here's your new ring now. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Gained additional level 1 spell slot. That is powerful. 
Okay, we're gonna save even though we're injured here. And let's. Do you want to go out this this cavern door? Sure. If there even is an out. Oh, there's an up. Oh. Oh. Can we get up there? There's a lever next to you. There's a lever. Oh, there is a lever. All right. Where do we appear? Chapel entrance. So now I wonder, are there, could you enter it through all of these ways? Hmm. Dagger root. Survival failed. Awesome. Survival failed. Curious. Survival Curious success? Out. Oh. I get to diggy dig. Nope, mine. Yonk. <laughs> <laughs> Gold and holy water. Oh, nice. Of course you Explode find holy water next to a ruined church. <laughs> it does damage to undead and fiends. And a AoE. Wow, that was a neat little dungeon. Yeah. And that was like right at the start, too. Yeah. Oh, another Maybe dirt mound. Wait, what? <clears throat> I was just like, this is a nice view. Oh. And then it was just like, hey, dirt mound. Scroll of blindness. Scroll of Mage Armor and Scroll of Featherfall. A collaboration not anticipated, but a welcome one. Not Do we want to ride down on the wind with a Scroll of Featherfall? <laughs> <laughs> I think it only works for one person. Oh, this is such a good view of like the scale of this place. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's like actually looks so cool. All right. Uh, well, dang. Should we head north? I guess north is the only route left. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's also... Is is that even a thing? A little undiscovered south area where we spawn, kind of? Not really, no, there's no entrance to that, so... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess north is the only way to go. All right. I use my dash ability to stay the same speed. <laughs> <laughs> but I am now dashing. Physically. And mentally. <laughs> Charisma and comeliness. Uh, there are people shouting ahead. Okay, hmm. hey, like a cliffside off this way. Open the bloody gate! Oh. Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Hmm. Where is the <laughs> druid? Please! There's no time! Are you going to throw an arrow? Well... The nine hells. Open the gates. <clears throat> we didn't heal. Gale's still at like two health. He's got nine. He's, he's fine. These three fellows. Oh, all right. Shit! Form a line! Damnable roach! 
provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Hmm. Oh, that's a oh, lot of initiative. I'm I'm so glad we took the high ground for this. Oh, there's one right next to us. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this this fight spawned right under us. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. That goblin got fucked. Holy <laughs> shit! Goblin bow. Interesting. Hmm. So it seems we don't even get to take a side with the goblins, then. Yeah. There's... Well, I mean, if you're playing as an evil character, I'm not sure how you would try and, like, join the ranks immediately in that manner. Oh, there's one right there, too. <laughs> oh, he's, he's no longer right there. Dang. And you... I'm going to stay up here. Battle on. Whoa, what? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Who shot? Oh, that was Zevlor. Okay. It's this guy's turn. Let's see. We have high ground advantage on every single one of these. Yeah. This is nice. <laughs> high defense. What a fight this is. A bugbear. A goblin brawler. We're going to go after the brawler because it's closer to Ramira. And turn. I'm just gonna use our range to the advantage here. Whoa! We're, we're also rallied, so we get fucking advantage. Holy fuck, we're just fucking up everything. Really good starting stats. Oh, our little spider! I forgot about this guy. <laughs> Down the ledge. <laughs> uh, arachnid jump onto that guy. Whoa! Oh, wow. That, that damage. Works against non undead. That's really cool. Well, <laughs> I guess we were just unfortunate that the first thing we tried it on <laughs> was, it was undead. undead. <laughs> Let's see. Rain shot against. Threatened. Yep, same. Good. Good <laughs> targeting. Gone. Yep. <laughs> Dominating. Dealing 10 damage with the short bow is so much. Yeah. I'll just fuck that guy up. Bonk. Um, can I jump down without taking damage? No. If you That's use the jump ability? Yeah, you take 5 health jumping damage if you jump off of that. Oh, mine's a class-based. Strength affects how far I can jump. Yeah, I have Dang. no strength. Goblin boss sitting at one fucking health. Bugbear dead. Zakrug dead. 14 <laughs> fucking damage. 50 experience for that. God damn. What is. This guy's abilities are not. <laughs> He's like got a sniper rifle instead of a sword. <laughs> I'm use Eldritch Blast. The spider got the finishing blow. Inside, all of you, move! Open the gate! 
No one left How behind. How do you wish to go about ending in? I'm taking their stuff. Oh, thank you for I'll reminding me. I nearly like got right off the cliff and. Oh, they got, they got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm encumbered yeah. now. Uh, this one. But I don't care. I'm looting it all. This one. Better find sunlight to camp soon. I'm exhausted. Better find some way to camp soon. This tracker here. Let me put this in this guy's inventory, so I'm no longer encumbered. There we go. Certain pr actions are frowned upon by others. Get caught and you might find yourself in a prison cell. What did you do? I didn't do nothing. Oh, it's maybe because we're trying to leave and they have their gate open? I don't know. For us. Oh. I, I do not. What? Okay. We took the trip to Emerald Grove. The smell like Blue Dog inside the van. Oh yeah. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. Who's encumbered? I'm encumbered. Straight to us, and you let them oh. the druid too. Uh, I didn't even move anything from my inventory. I moved it from fucking Astarians. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Erp -derp. I've seen much bloodier battles than this. Consider yourselves lucky. Should I just say the the ranger thing? Be be an edge lord from the forest. Sure. And who the hell are you again? Show I just some respect. <laughs> this woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't True. ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. He nearly punched him just now. Twitches. He's about to blow. Take a swing at the teeth. <laughs> I mean, they're both being assholes. Stand back and watch. More violence won't bring those bring back those you lost. Oh yeah, the druid. Stop and think. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh no. I don't have. Team? Oh no! <laughs> so close. She tried. She tried so hard. Oh no! I could have been all. Oh no! Unconscious. I could have hit. I could have changed that. No doubt the beast will be back. Leave immediately. That could have been worse. So what you're saying is pack up your things in my inventory? Gladly. Right. Potatoes? Yep. Okay. Uh, old floppy hat? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> A foul blood? A foul blood. Yeah. Go be done. Get out of here. Good thing we were here. Cool. Ooh. Thank you I can now start stealing. <laughs> I'm I'll keep them distracted, I guess, with storyline. I'm Sarah Sakale. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, that frown. see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. What should I ask here? What are the options? I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins. Have there been many attacks like that? Where well, I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Um. Do we want to help them? Oh, the never-ending quest to constantly help and save people. 
I can't make use of mercantilism without people to trade with. Can't trade with people if they're dead. Can't steal from people if they're dead either. Well, you can, but it's not stealing anymore. It's just looting. <clears throat> ah. Why are they forcing you there out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't that sounds stay, cool. but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. This ritual. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though... I stole all of Ganon's things. She owes you for <laughs> saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We owe you a great debt. Okay, Gale. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Hmm. So if I look at any of the boxes in town, they're just going to be empty now, huh? No, it was yep. only Ganon's thing that I am that I emptied out. <laughs> and I stole a flute as well. Poor performance. It's because I have no idea how to play a flute. <laughs> <laughs> My character just blows into it and he goes. Yeah, I stole all of this stuff. It was all red, and I was just like, I'm going to yank it while I can. Hmm. Oh! The stuff that I stole was uh, the dead dudes anyways. Whoa. His body is red. I've never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here. Seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Interesting. Leave. <laughs> oh, I can take cannon stuff too. Arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. He was dead. Uh Oops. <laughs> you can offer a bribe. We have money. Yeah, I'll pay 50 bucks for a longbow, but I don't think that makes us not criminals. Your bribery attempt has caused some offense. Violence it is. Um, okay. Well, should we go to prison or do we fight? Uh, I don't think we can take these people. They're all level three. Mm, so are we. We're level two. Oh. And Gale is still half health. Oh. There's only two of them next to us currently. There are three of them. Hmm. And we are five. It is a five v three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to you go through the math. <laughs> I mean, that, that's up to you. I don't want to go to prison. Miss, miss. It failed, really? 
That's upsetting. Damn, she is one fucking... What the fuck? Well, she is gone now. Sandy, I think your mic muted. Thank you. Uh, all there? right. Not talking. Where'd you go? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm talking, but I'm not. All right. So I just read a thing saying that uh, we can leave, and they might not be hostile later if we come back. We already killed Goldani. Mm hmm. Are you saying that we just just kill everyone? And just abandon the entire storyline having to do with this area? Are we murder hobos? Is that what this playthrough is? There's blood on our hands. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> we, we can always reload. <laughs> we can. Are you just winning the combat training? I, I, I mean... I don't think we need training. We just fucking obliterated Kaldani in one turn and she had 30 health. Let's see what she had. Short sword, hand, crossbow, scale armor, arrow of lightning, arrow of fire, studded shield, potato. I can just equip this in the middle of combat? It takes a uh, action. Okay. It takes your main armor. action. Javelin. I can throw javelins. Longbows are 2 to 9, 1d8 plus 1 piercing, shortbows 1d6 plus 3 piercing, why? Mm, oh, it's because it's not equipped in my range? No, it's not equipped in my hand. Did I just equip uh, a longbow to Gale? You did? Gale? Well, Gale what? No. No. A short bow. Short. Oh, you're you're on Gale's turn. That's why. Oh no. I'm a failure. But Gale didn't have a ranged weapon, so I guess that works. As weird as that is. <laughs> In a way. In a way. Go bite this person. Oh god. Read him. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. It says temporarily hostile. Yeah, that's you why I said we. Or flee. Okay. <laughs> hmm. like, I don't want to go to prison. Cab. We can knock out or flee, it says. However. Mm -hmm. That's However. an error. <laughs> However. I am no coward. I am not an arrow. Cab. A coward is not what I am. No, no. Okay. Same turn. I wonder what happens if I run up to her and push her off the edge. <laughs> oh, my spider. No! That bastard. 16. Murder. 65. Murder. Very fast. Still 65. Okay, well... There we go. Oh, Gale leveled up. I did not get my attack of opportunity, but this person keeps missing and says it doesn't matter. Continue burning people. <laughs> Missed.
I really don't have enough movement. Come on, game. We're pretty far away. Cunning action. Dash. Oh, okay. So I can dash twice in one turn. That's epic. She's missed every single shot on me. This poor tiefling is terrified. <laughs> you leveled up. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Uh, was that... What other turns are there? Who else is hostile? Oh, she ran far enough. But I killed she her. She aggroed more things. Oh. Oh. Well, but where? Time to loot more bodies. <laughs> Sometimes the only way out is through. <laughs> through looting. Well, I think... I think this marks an official switch from being a lawful good ranger to being a uh, problem of the forest. They are indeed above us. They're above us. Oh. A bugbear assassin. Oh. oh. What? They may not be all on our side. Whoa. Uh, this entire town is being attacked. We... We may have messed up a huge chunk of the storyline, but I'm kind of curious as to how the game's going to handle this. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Uh, somebody is. Should I shoot the bugbear or Nadira? I'd say bugbear, because bugbear's going to kill Nadira anyways. True. Path is interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Path is interrupted. Well, there's only one option now. <laughs> I did nothing. Well, he's awfully close there. Mm -hmm. Have to keep going. Critical miss. I rolled a one. Nice. Recite the demise. Gail. Plus, plus empty. And I guess not so much. Do I have enough hmm. range to hit him? I, I, oh, my... Whoops. Hmm? I accidentally ended turn. I didn't what? know space ended turn automatically. I didn't know that either. I've been trying to automatically use it as a pause, so... That would explain a few of my actions recently. Whoa. Hmm. I play my flute. Oh, he hated my flute. He really did not like your flute. Okay. <laughs> Last right, must take a short rest. I didn't realize that. Necromancy only be usable outside combat. I could just sleep on this. He's, I mean, he's really killable. Yeah, but I like the idea of stealing him. <laughs> stealing him? Mm-hmm. Imagine you crit miss and hit me instead. 
In second edition, missability was a thing that you had to deal with. Uh, it was the actual reason why you'd have high int and whiz, because it reduces the chances of your spells going haywire. Uh, you could try and cast, like, call rain and end up casting call blood or call meat or call fire. Like, you, you never know what it's going to be. Too heavy to shove. Disadvantage? Why do I have... Oh, target is too close. That's why. I'm trying to use my freaking bow. Uh, I don't know if I'll live here. 7 plus 6, that's 13. He has 15 health. I have to disengage. Scamper. Scamper on out of here. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Oh! Poison. Okay, we're alive, and that's what matters. Missed. Are you kidding me? It's okay, he's got eight health left. I got this. I guess. Easy. Oh. Easy. Gained enough experience to level up. Oh yeah, we all have levels. And we have a bunch of bodies to loot. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> okay, just those are empty. Uh, gate winch. Ooh, oh, specialization okay. available. Thief, arcane trickster, or assassin. Okay, so it is, it's a level-based thing, like second edition. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Two cantrips. As students of the arcane arts, wizards can learn new spells by studying certain spell scrolls instead of using them. So yeah, like all the different spell scrolls we've been picking up can be given over to Gale and he can teach himself new spells. Oh, okay. Rika. Orange leather armor longbow. Right, equip longbow before I forget. <laughs> Would you like an upgrade to a longbow? Is it better? Yeah, it's better than the short bow that Astarian's got, at least. Hell yeah. We've got javelins, we've got daggers, we've got a morning star, a battle axe, a scimitar, quarterstaff, more daggers, peridot ring. Not proficient with heavy armor. Ringmail is considered a heavy armor. <clears throat> Going to equip it anyways. Lack of training will give you disadvantage on some rolls and stop you from casting spells. Never mind. I need to be able to heal people. Speaking of... This guy. Where are you? You're right there. I should step in before it gets worse. Take care of Okay. I can throw my spider. <laughs> How far can I throw my spider? Wow! <laughs> You're just whipping him? <laughs> Just launch him across the fucking field. It's so messed up. I'm sorry, little spider. Uh, short rest. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Okay, I'm going to save this as 
a dark branch. <laughs> oh, Featherfall is all nearby allies. Okay. Um, do you want to leave this place? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. I don't know. Like, should we go to camp and do a, a long rest? Uh, did, did we loot everybody? Did you loot the mm -hmm. girl all the way up here? Yeah. Okay. We certainly have turned this place into a very decorated scene. Did you loot the body way over here? Okay, yeah, you did. We're good. So there's like a whole uh, village here. And just right on the outskirts of this village, we just did some stuff. Wait, how are you moving your camera? WASD <gasps> with middle mouse. My god. Rimworld that controls. makes it so much easier. Mm hmm. Recenter. Uh, click on yourself or double click on yourself. Looking ahead. Ah. Uh, well, there's a cave down here. Oh, that's the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fool. I'm a fool and a puppy. Oh, level up. I need to do that. Murder hobo. Gained a lot of stuff. Chosen subclass Beastmaster. Health increased to 25. Class features. Additional spell slot unlocked. Gained a spell. Ranger's Companion. Gain a Beast Companion that accompanies you on your adventures and fights alongside you. Nice. The police spell. The amount of spells you have fixed in your mind is limited. As you level up, you may wish to replace old spells with new ones. Choose a spell you know and replace it with another. I don't want to forget either of those. Beastmasters bind themselves to an animal companion, sharing intelligence, an intelligent bond that flourishes in and out of combat. A gloom stalker, emerging like a horrible gift from the envelope of darkness and shadow. You ambush and put down your foes before they can even scream. Hmm. That sounds more like what we've been doing lately. Superior dark vision, <laughs> dread ambusher. You specialize in taking out foes swiftly and ruthlessly. You gain a plus three bonus to initiative. On the first turn of combat, your movement speed increases by three meters, and you can make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage. Wow. I keep Dang. forgetting you can also hide in combat by using crouch and uh, hide in shadows works in the middle of a fight. Yeah, I have a um, so like a class action of hide, and I can do that in battle. The large or bigger creature attacks, you can use a reaction to make a melee attack. You must be able to see the creature, it must be within one and a half meters of you. Target two creatures standing close to each other, attacking in quick succession. Once per turn, your weapon attack deals an extra 1d8 damage if the target is below its hit point maximum, if it's been damaged once. That's interesting. But we're doing Beastmaster, I want friend. <laughs> learn, learn spell. Choose spell you know from... you. Choose the spells you know from the list below. Spells require spell slots to cast unless a feature states otherwise. Longstrider, Enhanced Sleep, Hunter's Mark, Hail of Thorns. Thorns deal weapon damage to a target, then explode. The explosion deals an additional 1d10 piercing damage to the target and surrounding creatures. On miss, thorns still explode. On save, targets still take half damage from the explosion. Not bad. Fog Cloud, Ensnaring Strike, Animal Friendship, Thorns. Wizard. Two spells. Two spells per day, gain two spells. Choice is pending. Ooh. 
these are tier two spells. Mm. All right, what do we got? Web. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic materials such as stone have disadvantage on their saving throw. You can use that against uh, skeletons and constructs in the future since we were having problems with that before. <clears throat> Scorching Ray hurls three rays of fire, each dealing 2, D, 2 to 12. 2 to 6. Raven Fieldment, Phantasmal Force, deal damage to a creature each turn. The type of damage changes to the last type the creature suffered. Misty Step, surrounded by mist, you teleport to an unoccupied space that you can see. Very powerful spell. Uh, do we want our spellcaster to be able to instant transport? It'll take up a tier 2 spell slot, but like situationally can do some really interesting stuff. Let's keep that one on the, the earmark. There's still so many more to read here. Mirror image, another useful one. Enlarge or reduce. Make a creature larger or smaller to affect their weapon damage and, and strength checks and saving throws. I could make wolf big. Flaming sphere. I'll summon a flaming sphere that damages nearby enemies and objects. You can move the sphere. It emits a bright light. <laughs> what? Gust of wind. Summon a strong wind that clears all clouds and pushes creatures back five meters and forcing them off balance. Hold person. Invisibility. Knock. Magic weapon. Uh, plus one bonus to attack and damage. Not really that great. Melf's acid arrow. 44 damage plus 2d4 acid damage over time. Very, very good damage for single target. Detect thoughts, divination, situational, dark vision. Everybody else has it, don't need it. Darkness. Um, uh, could be useful. Crown of madness. Instill madness in a humanoid enemy, making him attack the creature closest to them other than you, even if it is allied. Cloud of daggers. Conjure a spinning cloud of daggers that attack anyone inside. Blur. Attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Blindness. Arcane lock. Wait, knock can open things? Unlock an object that is held shut by a mundane lock. Oh. If all of our other uh, lock picking failed, that would be a neat one. Let's go with mm -hmm. uh, Misty Step, because important. And. I like the idea of shatter. Let's do that. And prepared spells for day. Known spells. They always hit their target. That's what's nice about Magic Missile. Um, it doesn't miss. There is no saving throw against Magic Missile. It just brutally hits for, like, up to halberd damage. Yep. <laughs> All right. Welcome in, new viewers. Good to see you folks. Yeah, hello, hello. We just made a mess of the first supposedly friendly encampment that we've encountered in the game. An absolute mess. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened here in the forest. So yeah, are we gonna I'm playing them song? Are are we gonna do a long rest? So we're actually going with this playthrough? I don't know. Like, am I being... uh, are we? I... I, that's up to you. I, I don't mind. Mm, I'm. If worried. you want, to, do you want to go through the quest line of this place? Is what I'm yeah. kind of going. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of like. I'm curious about. Uh, evil parties gain a lot in equipment early on, but struggle later to have like any kind of faction affiliations 
-hmm. so it gets difficult to like do things like trade and stuff um i'm not opposed to it being a difficult game per se i do tend to avoid just playing evil characters in general it feels really weird just going through and killing everyone we see Mm -hmm. uh well, now that I went through all that for the configuration stuff, I guess it'll be easy enough for me to do it again uh, after our next set of battles. I'll know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. Let's, I guess let's reload and we'll try to not have me loot a body. <laughs> uh, our previous autosave. Oh no, I think, I think I just clicked the same one we're on. Uh, note to self, order new inhaler. We could see what prison is like. <laughs> we could see what prison's like. I mean, like, we don't... I think I saved before we um, I had the goblin fight. Well, there was probably an autosave. No. That's what I was just looking at before. Oh. Yeah, the last autosave was Dank Cave. Damn. Yeah. Also, I am noticing I'm becoming the dehydrate and require Bavir Goose. Yeah, I just clicked on the one where we just killed everyone. So, previous auto save was Dank Crypt. Previous uh, purposeful save was Dank Crypt as we were just about to leave. So, before the goblin fight. Um. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing the goblin fight again. We slayed that last time as well. That was a really fun battle. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. We're good. Alright, cool. Uh, load save game. I'm also going to refill my water real quick. Be right back. Okay. Mm hmm. Hide self. Hide cast invisibility of puppy. Oof. No.
So as I was trying to go out the door, you folks probably heard me talking to the spiders, quite literally. One of them tried to build its web over the door. <laughs> like, on, on the door, in the door frame. So I open the door, <laughs> and it's just walking, like, across the, the, like, at eye level, laterally. You can't stay here. And it, it cruises by again. So I, like, flip the edge of the web with uh, the the bottle I'm holding, and it scampers directly up and uh, tries to go down a different line and set a web that goes a different direction but still anchors to the door. I'm like, no, you don't get to use that one either. And I break that, and it just runs to the center of the, the support pillar and stops and just stares at me. I'm like, fine, you can stay there. I go get my water, I come back, and it's still sitting there staring at me. And the other one's, like, doing its own thing in its web. It, I think that I have a mating pair of barn spiders that have, like, set themselves up. I don't know entirely, but they, they seem fairly happy. And I, I try to leave them alone. Like, they're, they're living their own lives. They live here, too. But, like, don't block my door. WTF, mate. <laughs> Meow. Okay. Yeesh. That was that was an adventure I did not want to go on. I just gained five experience. <laughs> Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's have a look. Okay, so is this after you got the? Yep. Okay, we cleared yep. everything in here, and then we were like, "All right, we're ready to go." Okay. Let's see what this does. See, so I'm outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already outside. Nice. So we're starting all this with our wizard already injured? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started the whole goblin fight with our wizard injured. Oh. Alright, so there was the... Yeah, I was gonna say there's the treasure here. Yeah, I already looted all the stuff other than the treasure right here, because both of my people failed to check Uh, a grease bottle and gold. I can cast grease by throwing a bottle. <laughs> oh, you got this one already? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it seems like all this stuff that we get in the chest is randomized, even if, like, you mm -hmm. load the world again. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do a uh, short rest before this fight? Do we need to? I guess not. This fight was easy. Never mind. Just need to get everybody up onto that hillside again. Where was I? Mm. Um, that was here. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel like if we go around the left side of it, we're just fucked. <laughs> yeah. Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. Zevlor. The pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Do we just skip dialogue? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, goblin tracker. Really. Miss. Hmm. Hey, Jarvie, how's it going? Wait, spoilers. Uh oh. Jarvie, are you going to be playing this one too? I forgot I had scrolls of things like Raven. Yeah, I have a few scrolls. They've ray of or scroll of burning hands. We should get that one. 
on Gale. Each flammable target is hit with 3 to 18 fire damage. Yeah, it's really big damage. It's 3d6. Your roommate you were talking about playing. Nice. <laughs> Glad. Hi, Greasy. <laughs> Damn, they're getting fucked up this time. <laughs> Hopefully one of them dies so I can loot them. You say that, but I actually get a bonus to my experience if none of them die. Because I'm a ranger. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm not evil yet. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see here. Time to start launching firebolts and thunderweaves and... Which bolt? We are standing on a whole bunch of grease. Not enough movement. Difficult Can you hit the guy to the left? Uh, not with that ability, so we're gonna do this one instead. <laughs> grease? Question mark? Grease. Arachnid yes, jump. Crazy. Arachnid jump on this. <laughs> what? It didn't jump. Oh, it slipped. I see. My poor spider. <laughs> the fucking grease. Okay, I'm coming over. Saved grease. And I'm on offhand. And then, I Jarvis, can pierce the this is gonna be like every time somebody's talking about making something out of glass in uh, Minecraft. It, it's it's gonna be that for you every time that you watch a Baldur's Gate three stream for a bit. Uh, the actual item in Second Edition was oil of slipperiness. Yeah, every time I'm watching somebody play Minecraft uh, and I, they're talking about glass or they're in the desert, I hear so many vocal pings of sand. <laughs> yeah, Dan? Yeah? Thanks, DD. That guy's a ranger too, he has Bane. Against targets like bugbears. Zakrug. Goblin boss. Goblin tracker. Skyrim shuffle. Arachnid jump! Not enough movement. Uh, dash. Of course. <laughs> Critical hit. Nice. Oh, I was trying to shoot our guy. I was like, why can't I hit him? That <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, that usually makes it hard to, hard to do. <laughs> I love just like the background ding 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 Oh dang That goblin just made the most goblin sound. Like, <laughs> hmm. 
not enough movement. This is a crew. Really? Go, spider, go! <laughs> took three damage. It just knocked itself out. <laughs> Did I just take him out? Hell yeah! They only had one health. So I figured out you can stealth in combat. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I accidentally used his main action instead of his cunning action. Okay. Oh, the goblin tracker over here to loot is you have to steal the loot from him. From the tracker? Yeah. But everybody else, it's just regular loot. We just picked up an artifact why. item. Some special gloves. Yeah, some gloves of power. Interesting. Did we loot the guys up on the rock or no? I did. Slow. Okay, so Gloves of Power. Absolute's Bane. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rules and saving throws. Sleight of hand, plus one. I think this goes Ooh. to a melee specialist. Like you. Also, yeah. Goblin Scimitar. Slashing, slashing, proficiency, proficiency, 1, 3, 5, 30, 4 to 9, 4 to 9. Spike shield, ooh. Equip. Uh, fancy shield for a starion. Huh? Wait, you can what equip the? a quarter staff and a shield? What? <laughs> I, I went to equip it on a star and then just put it on fucking game instead. <laughs> it was just like, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, he needs a bow too, I forgot. <laughs> Gale's just getting everything. <laughs> ritual Everything's staff. Fucking massive as well. Hold on, what is this ritual staff versus the quarter staff? 2 to 9, 2 to 9, topple, topple, 1d8, 1d8, bludgeoning, bludgeoning, 1.8. Okay, they're the same, but one's way weirder looking. I like it. <laughs> he looks like a WoW character now. <laughs> it seems like same with the goblin bow and short bow. Yeah. I like the way the short bow looks. We didn't get any long bows that time. Did you get a longbow last time? Yeah, we got one oh, longbow yeah, yeah. off of the trackers last time. Hmm, interesting. Wait, what? Oh. Mm. Broken loot. Morning star, tongs, javelins. Anybody any good to the javelin? I don't think so. Right. Are you ready to go inside? I suppose so. Let's save. Before I make mistakes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, never feel bad about telling me to save because uh, I will forget. No, never mind. You think I save games? Actually, <laughs> uh... we could say a prayer. 
We should have time for that. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! He's covered in blood this time. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Maybe because he took more damage this fight. <laughs> <laughs> and who the hell are you again? Show some respect. Well, I did. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you. We're gonna try the persuasion again this time. All right. Oh, you actually did it this time. Heck yeah. Things are looking up. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes. The both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we Gale approves. Heck yeah. Now Gale will like you more. <laughs> Everybody just went and healed themselves. That was weird. Yeah, I watched that. that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank yeah. you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Hello, Zevlor. I'm Sarah Sakil. Well met. I whatever you think this attack will only strengthen their resolve. Uh there have been several steps that we can't okay. see. But we'll be slow. Any way to stop it. Okay. Um, time to prepare, if not let's see what I can do. I think you should. Yes. No harm in trying the diplomatic route. We do mm -hmm. you a great debt. If we are forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Lots in here. You keep saving over and over. <laughs> Alright, so you're going through all the boxes you already did last time, I'm assuming? Yeah, I already got everything. Nice. You're on top of it. Our lady of silver. Please. May he rest by your side. He he never hurt anyone. He always knew what to say. When I was homesick. He never let it show, but he was Are we talking in the middle? He didn't deserve this. What? I'm talking to him. I'm listening to Rika as she's like giving her eulogy over canon. Oh. Hmm. No, oh, they just say not now, please. And just yell at you for talking to them. Expect. This really isn't the time to talk. Ah. Okay. Remember that bugbear assassin? Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm talking to the scout person. Oh, alright. You're scared of a few goblins. A few Pathetic. Goblins. Felt like a lot more a story and a bruise. Yes, I'm scared. And I'm not ashamed of that. Aww. We... We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go fuck up that bugbear assassin. Who we totally don't know about and is totally not up here. Oh yeah, OCC. Well. Your enemies are surprised and cannot take action, reaction, or move on the first round of combat. Very nice. Just chilling out, about to kill Nadira. Okay.
with Gail. Gail, <laughs> are all of your movement points used up? I guess so. No, it's not Gail's turn yet. Oh. Now it's Gail's turn. Yeah, I don't Everybody... know why, but Gail and Spider keep going after the enemy. Just super low initiative, I guess. Uh, Arachnid jump on that guy. Okay. Bye. Missed. Fearful. Run on all. We killed there last time. All she wanted to do was run away. <laughs> oh, we got two poisons now because he didn't use the other poison on me. <laughs> oh. You have good hmm? timing. We're talking to her. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it. Fair and square. Who the hell? Okay, so... The th three prime material... Er, sorry, the three prime evils of the, that run the parts of hell that own the tieflings, the reason that tieflings are in the prime material plane, mm -hmm. is because they are all being... Uh, cast into servitude to perform deeds to in whatever way strengthen the masters and so like in this case um the skin type that you chose was that of avernus and uh or or of that uh that follower type so she immediately thinks you're not free you're not a free person that you're still indebted to that demon well then again I am an urchin, and I am unaware. Yeah. Quite, mistress, you lost me. Seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Uh. Persuasion. A mind flayer abducted me, and a ship went straight to Avernus. Ooh, you get advantage on this, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, easy peasy. 24 and 22. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul hmm. coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. We have quite a few soul coins now. We do. We've been murdering people. That coin's worth plenty. Don't I don't think we've been capturing their souls, but... We have four total soul coins. Yeah, uh, we've killed a few tieflings that had soul coins, and a couple spellcasters would as well, because making trades with infernal entities. Did we even oh, yeah. kill any tieflings? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Inside the dungeon. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to level up, by the way. Thank you. What the? Oh no! Oh, okay. My stats increased the same. I was actually worried that I was going to get lower uh, health. Legacy of Cania, Burning Hands, level 2 evocation. I just gained Burning Hands as a tiefling? I fucked up. What'd you do? 
I clicked accept, not realizing that I just clicked accept on the wrong subclass. Oh no! <laughs> Would you like me to load? Uh, I'm a thief now instead of a uh soul or spell rogue. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go ahead and reload. Good thing uh, we saved. Yeah, good thing we good saved. Time. Well, we'll go. We'll go fix that. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, where'd my option to choose my spells go? And it was just <laughs> like, oh, there is none. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this game is a delight. I did not oh, expect yeah, this yeah. to be this good. <laughs> Thank God for the saving ability of this game. Yeah. Yeah, we would have had some major issues if we weren't mildly saves coming in these situations. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Like, we're not at the point where we're just purposely reloading something to do a fight over and over and see what unique thing drops. Okay, so we need to go up here, and over here, and I'll meet you folks over there. Alright, um... I'm gonna talk to this guy again, though. I gotta get okay. the... There we go. Take you. Slap. Nice. All right. It's so funny. Shall be done. Crit miss. That's no fun. I love how the tiefling scamper. <laughs> okay. Bam! This guy. That staff is absurd. Also, a level 3 magic user with 20 health is unheard of in 2nd edition. Oh, what? He's a level 3 magic user, and he has 20 health. No, um, holy shit. Magic users have D4 health. They gain 1 to 4 health per level, and at most get a constitution bonus of plus 2 per level. So at most, they can have 18 health by level 3. Like, absolute <laughs> most. He has 20. <laughs> okay, so we're doing Misty Step and Explodey Shatter. And Prepared Spells, we're dropping... We already have Grease on one character, so we're going to drop Grease on here and do Magic Missile instead, but leaving Witch Bolt in case he gets stuck in melee. And... Cool. Alright. What's hiding here? Something's on my mind. Alright, now we're good. That coin's worth plenty. Don't okay. let us... 
Yeah. That was an adventure. Yeah, I already did the whole talk to her. Cool. Actually, uh, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to overwrite the save. Are, are you good? Or am I safe to save? We're good. Okay. We're good. Breathe deep and move. Peer through the telescope. Okay. Uh, Sandy, by the way, uh, if you click escape and click session, uh, mm -hmm. you can choose who controls what characters. Okay. Uh, focus the telescope on the distant object, trying to get a clear view. So, I think I saw a dragon through the telescope? Yeah. Roll to 20. Nice. Yep, that's a dragon. <laughs> you see a red dragon, tyrannical, greedy, and vain. They hunt without pity. Okay. Move the telescope to the left. Well, that's where it went. The telescope points to the left. Hmm. Move it to the right. Points straight ahead. <laughs> Give me just a moment because I'm going to really enjoy getting this Good. screenshot. Points to the right. Perfection. Oh, broken church. Okay, go over here. Go over here. Go over. Where's gaming? Where's gaming? I always lose gaming. Yeah, it's just it's such a good view of everybody kind of hanging out on a grassy hill, looking through a telescope. Like it looks nothing like Baldur's <laughs> Gate. Like what is this? I have no idea where we're going. We're going over here. I was just okay. seeing if there was a spot to dig. There was like a little outlook, and I was just like, surely there's something to dig. There this wasn't. This place is so pretty. It is. It's very pretty. It's like a squirrel. The ability hey, to just like... Animals, right? Oh, yeah, I can. You found a squirrel I can talk to? He's, he's got a little text bubble above him. Where, 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 where? Over there. Oh, no, timber. Right. Oh. I have to cast a spell. I love this so much. Cute little squirrel. <laughs> lunges at your foot and bites it. <laughs> I'm down, I'm a friend. You barged in without an invitation. I wouldn't call that friendly. See, you're in my territory, and I want you gone. <laughs> all right, all right, you win. I'm leaving. Better not catch you round here again. Very well, little squirrel. What if I talk to the squirrel? Can I just not talk to the squirrel? The squirrel lunges at your foot Whoa. and bites it. Squirrel teleport. 
Animal handling. Can I kick the squirrel? <laughs> That's up to you. Roll for animal cruelty. Uh, Even your dexterity uh, failed you here. <laughs> was too fast. Roll again! Use inspiration! Use inspiration to kick the squirrel? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh god! No. What did you do? Oh, it's everywhere. You ruined a perfectly good snack. <laughs> what? You claim victory over the squirrel. <laughs> then you're not sure why you were fighting to begin with. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I guess it shows you what happens when you roll a 20. Uh, ruined a perfectly good snack. <laughs> oh. Feed it to my spider, I guess? Oh, wow. That is... There's a lot of blood for a little squirrel. There's nothing left. Exploded. Picked you up picked one timber. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how do we get down there? There's a lever. Yeah, but the, I, I tried the lever and I said it won't budge. Oh, okay. Maybe you need a squirrel corpse in your hand. Yeah, maybe Timber was the uh, <laughs> guardian. The guardian of the lever. I f fucking owned that I piece God. of piece. God! <laughs> Didn't stand a chance. No, it really didn't. Auto save successful. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh, you best save friendly beast. Refugees, adventurers, no one in you well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Yeah, it's not ominous at all. I'm looking for a healer. Grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. What are you Those selling? Mobs I no longer need. Hmm. Ooh, we can buy stuff. Oh, uh, dialogue history. Character select. Dialogue history. I can't actually trade with him. Maybe it's because I'm trading with him? I don't know. I started the interaction with him, and then he skipped his first line and then started talking to you instead. And now it still says, what are you selling? So, yeah. Uh, huh. Okay, these are all red. Here. So, by um, the laws of Skyrim, I cannot steal these. Then, The middle pages of this book have been rendered illegible with age, save the occasional name written in crimson ink. A newer, sturdier here. page has been inserted behind the front cover. It reads... What? 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 I don't know. Take the stuff from my inventory, or like the gold at least, and then just uh, Can we stop shouting? No? trade with them. There's a lost dialogue here, thinking that it was something from your side. Okay. Refugees, uh, uh, okay. Well met. Okay. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. All right. Uh, do I need to consolidate all of our inventories into one spot? Is that well, yeah. What, thing, what do we even need here? Uh, do you want? Oh, those are very expensive. The trap disarm kits. Autumn crocus, alchemical ingredient, roast pork. 
Sue I mean, Williams. snag whatever you want. We got like six hundred. Potion, antidote, potion, shovel, various magic arrows, each one fifty gold. Scroll of Cloud of Daggers, Bone Chill. Prevent the target from healing until your next turn. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. Ooh, he has blue gloves way at the top. Scroll of Speak with Dead. Scroll of oh, Misty Step. Scroll of Magic Weapon. Scroll of Protection from Energy. Missile Snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. These gloves seem to melt your skin. Supple, strong, and dexterous as one could hope for. They're like biomesh. Red dye. Light blue dye. Ringmail armor plus one. Added armor plus one. Hide armor plus one. Medium. Hedge wanderer armor. Gain a plus one dex bonus. Let's see here. Tight stitches that bind panels of hard leather to form fitting carapace that moves like a second skin. The simple cured goat hide is enchanted by a traveling druid. A goat herd once helped her negotiate a stronger, strange maze of hedges, so she blessed all goats and so she blessed all his goats and thanks. That's really cute. Chain shirt plus one, medium armor. Take one less slashing damage. Superior materials. Could really use some better armor. Uh, that's. Yeah. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. Overall reduction of chance of being struck in the first place. Plus, it's like the main thing this person's selling is just armor. Let's see. You have a crap ton of weapons you can sell. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing that. Okay, never mind. Is there is there no quick command? No, it's Yeah, it seems like the selling uh, is a bit rough right now. Double click. We're not gonna use any of these, so Yeah. I don't know what we're going to use bones for, so... Good thing we stole all their kitchen wares. <laughs> um, uh, keep you those. also still have 289 gold on you. Mm -hmm. But... No. Your offer's been refused. Oh, I have to balance this. I see. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Trader will be pleased with this offer. Barter. Okay. I cleaned up a bunch of stuff, and we got some chain shirt. You're giving him the amount that he wanted? Yes. SMH. You want to do those trades? You can. You have your own money. <laughs> no, I'm good. Let's see. Quote. Oh, that is some silly armor. That is some real silly armor. Silly? Looking oh, real you're looking silly. silly. Okay. Goofy, even. Oh, right. What happened to that? But oh, we don't have that spike shield anymore, do we? That went That went away. Oh, maybe not, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do your own sales. Meanwhile, I'm going to dig through my pack and see what's going on with this bewildering pack. Full of water, torches, caustic bulbs. Wow, this is all sorts of useful yeah. things. That that oh. was the uh, tool bag for you. Okay. Mm. 
Disintegrating journal. Found in the riverside structure to the south, sheds no light on the purpose of that grim place, but confirms what we already know. It is very old. All else is speculation. Calm down. Please. This grove is kept by Sylvanus's faithful. Is that a goat? It's a goat. Oh no, it's a deer. Zoom the camera around here while you're doing that. I love the ability to do that. So this is cool. What a fun way to handle isometric RPGs and not make them isometric anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Like, this is so much better than what uh, Blizzard ended up doing for Diablo, but I guarantee it is also so much more difficult to render. They had to use, like, fancy methodology for anything that's not currently being viewed isn't actually being rendered. They have cows. We found the herd, everyone. Mission successful. The herd! Oh. To be honest, we've been doing this for a while. I think I can call it for the night. It's okay. starting to get to me, hon. You're good. Oh, let me go ahead and save our game here. Did you finish doing your trade? Uh, give me one second. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait. I've got a long road ahead. Yes, you do. He will be unhappy with this offer. Trader will be pleased with this offer. Alright. Butter. Weird little furry lime green spider. It's like our team mascot. <laughs> Alright, and now you can have these gloves. So he bought the gloves too? Yeah, I was like, that's really broken. Mm -hmm. It just stops most ranged attacks. Yeah. And it's not even uh, just arrows. That's javelins. That's throwing axes. That's darts. That's poison darts. I wonder if that'll work on traps. Like, do I just basically have Wonder Woman's bracers? Yeah, like, it's pretty gross. But yeah, uh... I'm ready when you are. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose nice. the strangers over us. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, same game. Can you stop shouting? No? Alright, let that finish doing its thing. I'll go ahead and quit this. Oh, you, you're game. wearing your spiked shield. Oh, I'm wearing the spike shield? Yeah, you have the spike shield, and then Gale has the studded shield. Oh, I guess I don't see it because I've got the... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you have the bow on. I've got a real weird paladin build going on here. Hey, it's working. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Yes, quit game. Oh, let's let's hit this magic button here and see who we want to raid over to. Wow, wow, wow! Who is currently on and doing something interesting? Leah Bella is also doing Boulder's Gate, I believe, with Josh and uh, Yuki, as well as Cryo. Throw me a name because I don't have that one followed. Uh, or type here. in the chat. Thank you. The L is capital. I didn't capitalize the L. Uh, that'll be fine. Search. Uh, this one. And then follow. And then... There we go. There we go. Okay. 
Thank you everybody for dropping in tonight and watching our silly little show. We'll be definitely having to do more of this because I was having a complete blast tonight. It's been so long since I've been able to enjoy any any kind of like tabletop D&D style content. Uh, and especially like drawing on the, the skill set and knowledge that I have from being a DM back in the day. And being able to utilize it in a way that doesn't benefit Wizards of the Coast. That feels good. Oh, thank you, Dan, for hitting the, the Discord there. And yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thank you for those that hung out in the chat and for those that are watching the background and for those that are watching the VOD. Appreciate you all and all of your support. Let's go ahead and get the... Dang, Dan is on top of it. Let's go ahead and do this green glow dog raid and uh, say hi to Leah Bell and everybody else. Have a good night. Mwah. Mwah. Love you all. <laughs>